Of course. Um, mm, yes. Dude, uh, speaking of wolves, werewolves, you fucking brought up oh. the making of Thriller. Merkface, did we find this? I want to play. It won't play? Yeah. It won't play. So we're both 80s babies. Yeah, we're talking about... Uh, the making of Thriller. The making oh, yeah. of Michael Jackson's oh, Thriller. Yeah. The most iconic music video of all time. So there's a scene, yeah, where they're making... Yeah, that's when they put the makeup on. When they turn Michael... The first half of the Thriller video, if you recall, was like a werewolf movie. Yeah, where he chases her, then he becomes a zombie. Well, no, no, no. The werewolf thing is like they're at a drive-in movie. Not, that's the movie not, they're, they're watching. They're, they're watching a movie and, and starring them. And she leaves. Them. And she leaves because she's mad about... It's too scary. So they make him... But in the scene, he transforms into a werewolf. Pretty amazing special effects. It's Rick Baker, who's a very famous like uh, special effects guy. Yeah, you're a big horror film guy, so you know that. Man, Michael Jackson really should have saved the bus. They made him the last time. He looks really black there. Look at that nose and lips. <laughs> Jesus H. So they're making a bust of Michael Jackson for the video. <laughs> you're like, if you showed that to actual Michael Jackson 10 years ago, he'd have been like, who's that? I don't believe that. That's not me. Yeah, what? Oh, my God. I'm so ethnic looking. I've got to go get some work done immediately. So, if you recall, they're going to they're gonna do it in this clip, I assume, but they play, they play the actual sounds of him turning into a werewolf, which is very violent, roars, and it's great. Howls of a wolf, a person changing into a wolf in pain. But then in the making of Michael Jackson's thriller, they, they teeter back between... The noises he's making into the microphone. Yeah, they do the voiceover. They're going to play with. I guess they're going to you know play with the pitch levels yeah. of this and the difference. The difference between uh, between him wailing like a monster's like, yeah. a monster's roar is because in of the, the funniest. in the music video it's like and then it just cuts back to him going. <laughs> Did you find? Oh, so this this is what fucked me up on contacts when I watched this. this as a oh, the way kid. they put them in. I I didn't want to ever work. I mean, I still can't. Ah, right there. I've never wore contacts. Me neither. I can't put it in my eyes. I'm too afraid. Yeah, I've never done it, but I would. I'd like to try. Why? I do not want to try. Thank God I'm afraid, or else I would have been a 17 year old wearing Marilyn Manson contact lens. <laughs> I would have jerk off. <laughs> you got cat eyes. I would have looked like a <laughs> jerk off. I would love to see you. Trying to start doing comedy with a Marilyn Manson. I'd be like, oh, no, this is my thing. I would have got a douchey around. I would have probably tried to do like Method Man with the one white eye. Oh, where, yeah, the one whited out. Where and I'd end up just looking like a homeless dog. <laughs> Soder has a half a head of cornrows and the other half just your white guy hair. <laughs> Why does he have ODB hair? <laughs> oh, baby, Dan likes it raw. Um, I don't think it's this scene. You have to go to the next thing. It is, uh, it's, is this it, Jacob? Are we at the right scene? It's on location. It's one of the funniest goddamn things that switch. When they go, because they cut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back up, back up a little bit on that. Uh, that's great. It's oh, that's, so great. Because they show him in the, the makeup, making the noise. Oh, yeah, that's the actual scene, but it's just without the filter on the... squeeze the air into a bladder. We, we had six bladders on his face today, so we had three operators, each one with two squeeze bombs. Are you ready? Let's roll it, please. Roll, please. Mac, okay? All right, now, Michael, what I want you to do when I tell you to do is op open your eyes, start shivering, and make Why noises. Get over here. <laughs> All right? Noises like it hurts. You ready? <laughs> Action. <laughs> now, raise the hand a little bit more. <laughs> Bring it down again. We'll do it again. We're still rolling. We need more sprints. Wait, again. What happens again? What was that? All right, cut. Turn it around. Bring it down again. We'll do it again. We're still rolling. You need more sprints. How unafraid? How unafraid of a werewolf, werewolf would you be if that's what you're doing? <laughs> get out of here seriously i would just kept i would have kept trying to help him you yeah, know he's like what are you doing get away Ow! I'm like no let me help you what is it is there a cream Ow! is there a topical <laughs> ointment i can give you is there a shot you missed what is it <laughs> are you diabetic Ow! get out of here run i'm turning into a werewolf i'm gonna become me <laughs> i won't be able to help my 
myself and I worry about you. Grr. <laughs> Did you just say grr? I like that the second one he says ow. 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 <laughs> um, that fucking video is hilarious. I totally forgot. <laughs> No, oh, I could do the entire thrower dance. Do it. I'm not going to do it in here because we don't have a lot of room. If we were still in our old studio, I would totally do it. Well, guess what? I'm about to put some balls on the old studio. Let's, put, let's hang our balls out and do the thrower dance. <laughs> this part? <laughs> <laughs> and then so you're going to go, you should do your macho man for the, for the speech. Darkness falls across yeah. the land. Darkness falls, but everyone knows. Uh, uh, yeah. The evil of... <laughs> the thriller. <laughs> Dig it. Yeah. Oh, now I want to listen to Thriller. I did the entire dance for my great grandmother who couldn't have been. She just tried to do like the, the pleasant great grandmother thing. She goes, That's wonderful. You're like, <laughs> Yeah, breathing like a corpse. I'm, I'm beating up myself. He goes, No, nah, no, nah, I missed the fucking leg thing in the middle. Hold on. But, uh, hey, hold on. Mima, can I try to run it for you again? She's like, well, I have to get upstairs for the party. I go, but just wait, can you just please? Hold on. This is important to me. I've been working on it for a long time now. <laughs> You're such a good dancer, Jason. No, no, that was shit, Grandma. Don't fucking look at me and lie. All right, I'll give you one more shot. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, go. Wait, all right, wait. I wasn't snap, ready. Snap, I was... move. Jay, if you don't move your fat hips, <laughs> I'm going to get one of your cousins that can. Ball heel turn. Ball heel. How do you not know? Fry, fry, <laughs> move, pivot, move. Boom, shiggy, 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 boom. You are boom, the shiggy, worst shiggy, shiggy. dancer of the family. <laughs> <laughs> we have two days to pull this together. You catch me still as an adult. Uh, you catch me. Where's Jay at four in the morning? Is he asleep? No. <laughs> He's practicing in my living room. He, he rents a space. He rents a space on 48th Street. <laughs> I just do the whole footloose dance yeah, in see, a warehouse by myself. <laughs> you bang and shit with your grandma talking shit in your head. <laughs> You'll never be as good as a dancer as your older cousin. Jay, why are your hands all ripped up? He goes, were you swinging on a... A fucking chain through a barn at three in the morning? Why do no, you have what? a grease-stained tank no, top on? No, 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 no. I wasn't doing that. Hey, where's your bug? <laughs> hey, where'd you leave your bug? Did you dance, home? <laughs> Ren McCormick, you made everything cool. One, two, three, stop. Some of that motherfucker got mad shit. I'm just trying to make a little, little money, make a couple dollars. Okay. What it all that? So funny. What it all up, pussy? <laughs> Forty dollars. What? Forty dollars. What? 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 Damn. Oh. I love it's her. Pause I love it. Her, I love it's her suey for Johns. <laughs> yeah. Don't, Sui. don't start it over. But how much was someone like really hanging out of the car window, driving and looking at her? Because she kept going. Because at some point, she eventually just goes. Damn. Like, yeah, she had him on the hook. He's like, what are you? He's like, 40? 40. 40. She's like, what are you? For the pussy or for a blowjob? Oh, that is for pussy. What are pussy? He goes, that's too cheap. Yeah, he just he drives goes, away. He goes, you know what? I'd rather pay more. And no. I don't know. I'd be safer. The block. Bitch been on my block. Uh-oh. Selling motherfucking pussy. And when I motherfucking find out. A bitch gonna have to answer, dummy. Okay. Plus, I know it. It's motherfucking Friday. Bitch ain't made shit yet. Bitch ain't motherfucking made shit yet. Okay. Put it all up. Put it all up, was it? Dude, can you do me a favor? Can you turn the audio off of that and put Old Dirty Bastard song playing over it and look at if it's her doing a video of Old Dirty yeah. Bastard? She looks like him. Shame. Put it out of the way. Put it out of the Oh, baby, I like it. Raw. Yeah, baby, I like it. Raw. How the hell? Yeah, just saying this when you get some pussy. <laughs> See if it lines up. Oh, baby, I like it. You know what I heard? If you start it when the red car goes back, bef- uh, if you wait till the red car goes by and start it at the same time, it's When she's up. looking at the camera and shit, right? Is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till the red Camry goes by and then sync it up. <laughs> 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 Wait, 
Mr. Brooks. <laughs> <laughs> Which just looking back at the thing right here. Motherfucker, have to answer to me. Wait, turn it up. Music. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Press it all around. <laughs> Come on! Oh, yeah. I like the way you do it. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. Even when she came back on that one, she went, like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. We just found our fucking... We just found our motherfucking uh, dark side of the moon. Dark side of the moon. Yeah. Of Oz. I told you, you got to sync it up when the Camry goes by or whatever the red car. Forty dollar pussy, forty dollar dollar pussy. Damn, she's great. Oh, it's a good drop. It's a real good drop. I'll beat that. You see that, dude? I'll beat that ass. Oh. Oh. Stalks, I don't want to dig too deep. I don't want to. Well, here's the thing. I don't want to dig too deep on Butterscotch Swirl, uh, really, other than to just play what is such a terrible thing that me and DeRosa both agreed. Mm hmm. This guy produced some pretty good music. He's just a uh, his rapping is just ridiculous. But he may have made the catchiest rap song I've ever heard in my life, <laughs> and definitely the best hook ever written in the history of rap music. Um, Sal has done a major deep dive on this guy, and his name is Butterscotch Swirl. All I can tell you is he is from Michigan, and he believes this. He absolutely is on board. This isn't a joke. This is not a joke. This is this guy is real. This is confirmed. He believes this. That he is this guy. It, well, maybe, maybe just like an artist. You know what I mean? I don't know if, he's, sure. if he believes it's in his lyrics. But he's not doing them to be funny. This is rap. But I'm telling you, there's nothing you've heard in your life in the last 12 months that is going to be stuck in your head more than this right now. Yeah. I dedicate this song to any guy. But it's got, got a woman. Their mom is being a bitch to them. Let me tell you about my experience. Come on. Come on. You are. You are. You're such a bitch, bitch. <laughs> You're such a bitch, bitch. Yeah. You are. You are. You're such a bitch, bitch. You're such a bitch, bitch. Feel me out. First you like me being with your daughter Then you dislike me being with your daughter You wanna slaughter my brains out You can pound and shout Pause it. Right it. Dude, He really thought now, slaughter and daughter Which they do rhyme He somehow made it so they don't rhyme Which is pretty crazy I'm gonna tell you something about Butterscotch Swirl and that Don't he, even come at him sideways dude well, I'm coming at him asking why he turned slaughter and daughter Which do rhyme into things that don't rhyme I'm telling you why Because I'm such a bitch <laughs> no, Because Butterscotch Swirl don't give a shit about Tom's signature. It means nothing to him. Dude. He wrote down these words, and there is no economy of words. He is going to get all of them, all of them out. You know those videos in uh, China where they show people getting on, like, the trains or in, like, Japan, and those people, like, shove the people in and the door closes? That's what he does with words into his fucking, into these songs. Oh, yeah. He shoves words in where you're like, hey, hey, butter, can I call you butter? You, you He's just, up a little bit, bud. I, I mean, I'm talking about s situations where maybe just like a contraction would have worked. You, uh, but he doesn't give a shit about that. But He's you got know bigger what? problems. Well, you, an or what? He just knows that he's thrown down a fucking hook. He is thrown. I mean, play it. Play. You know you're full of drama. Roll me up a blunt. I'm tired of listening to this cunt. I don't know what you'd be. Oh, pause it again. Also, what? he's white. Go ahead, play it again. I didn't know if I said that. Oh, also, he's a big white guy that looks like everyone on your high school football team you were afraid of. For sure. He looks like he would be best friends with Shane. Mm -hmm. Oh, if, yeah. If Shane was like, this is one of my buddies from Mechanicsburg, I'd be like... In fact, if you said Shane made this five years ago, and that was Shane, you'd just go, okay. No, I would say, like, if Shane was like, here's my buddy, uh, Mike, but he goes by Butterscotch. And I'd be like, okay, yeah. Okay. Seems right. fair. Done. Half the time you're bipolar. 
Hard to tell if you've been sober It must be all the pills you be taking I ain't faking when I'm going out With your prize in possession She's got an obsession Obviously we're going to tweet this out At the Bonfire SXM But let me just say This boxy suit that he has on yeah. Really makes my heart sing As a guy that Really wasn't familiar with tailors or that suits were supposed to look nice and tight, you know? This guy's just got a real, I wore it off the fucking, I wore it out of the store. Yeah, I think, uh, I think the, uh, the costume department went off the rack on this one. She's in love with me. You should just accept it. Don't neglect it or you're gonna Boom. win. Forget it. Fuck it. I don't give a shit what you think. Go see a shrink. Dealt with my chick's mom for months. The heartache that never stops. The headache that never drops. I represent all the guys around the world when I say fuck off. I ain't soft. You need a man so you can get off my back. That's my plan. Dude, this is, hold on, stop. This is a guy drunk at a party trying to freestyle. No, you know, no, no, like, this has been written and revised. I know. Oh, no, no, no. I know it has, but I'm saying the way it sounds is like he's like, uh, uh, I, your mom's a bitch and I'm rich. And so yeah, you can yeah. live in a ditch, but then I'm also smoking. A, uh, no, fuck. Oh, Make God. Make a wish, Make something, a, all that ish. Fuck, fuck, fuck. And, the, the, and buy a dish. And then he really thought he was going to get an hour with it with the fuck, 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 fuck you. Oh, that was, I, I did that. I did that with my mouth. Pick between family or me, you should agree you're not right. Mine and your daughter's love is out of sight. But a Scott Squirrel oh. is on to Don't look at me. Mom down. That guy smoking my big ass. Not a mom. You still it's a guy. Bitch. Oh, oh, no, he's tearing out. What's he tearing you're out? You're such a bitch, bitch. Her heart. Such you're such a bitch, bitch. bitch. Yeah. Jacob, come on. You are. Jacob, just you now. You are. What is it? You such, such a, a bitch, bitch. bitch. Huh? Such a you such, such a bitch, bitch. bitch. Now it. listen to how this goes nowhere. Stab me in the back for the last time. Because of all this bullshit, I'm in a wicked state of mind. You don't like me in a relationship with your daughter, and that's fine. But I'll be quick to knock your head up off your motherfucking spine. So see, if he would have just said it and knock your neck off of your spine... Oh man! Would have fit into the rhythm of words. I wonder if he had to get another motherfucking in. I wonder if this can be used as evidence as his girlfriend's mom can show the local police, like, "Hey, this guy made this video, and I'm worried about my safety." Yeah, yeah, you know. Sure. And they're like, "Hey, we got to go pick him up." We go. We know you're just doing a rap video, but you really scared Debbie. (laughs) From right this moment, I want you to pay attention when he's back on the stoop right there. Yeah. Everyone just let that play out for a second and listen to... I, say, I mentioned the economy of words. The show pass lyrics? I, I mean, at one point, you're like, I don't think he's listening to the beat while he's saying this. Yeah. There's no way. I be standing over your body yelling, now your daughter's mine. What you think I'm blind? I stay on the grind. Have so much bling on me, makes my body want to shine. I got a record deal of money. Now you think I'm one of your greatest friends, but I be driving the hot Mercedes Benz. When you try so hard to break us up, shut the fuck up, you crazy. You don't phase me, everything's so damn shady. But I be sitting back, drinking Jager Meister, thinking it's all gravy after taking... Dude, I love that. I love that his in his mind, baller-ass shit is drinking Jägermeister. <laughs> uh, you know, like you can only... <laughs> He's like, I'm a rapper. And he's like, what do rappers drink? I drink Jägermeister. Let me just talk about that. Actually, what he nonstop drinks in the videos is rum. All right. He's always just drinking rum. Maybe maybe uh, in a different world, him and Gary are good buddies. <laughs> Seems like a shitty ass crime Now a conclusion With all the verbal abuse Man's confusion Which side are you choosing? You ain't nothing but illusion Sure I'm a blast from the past And the pain in your ass I got a hard to go Not going cold But I can't understand Why you're so damn cold You're still a crazy uh, ass Stupid ass One last time everyone You are Jacob You're, you're such, such a, a bitch Bitch You're such a bitch You're such a bitch Bitch You're such a bitch Wait you stop it now uh, and the only thing on him no. I want to show you before we do the deep dig on what's going to be Lisa Gale. How does it end? It's just more of that. I tell you, you yeah. you're going to want the next things. I don't. I, okay. I want to run over time. Okay. You're such a bitch, bitch. You're such a bitch, bitch. You are. You are. You know. But- <laughs> I think Black, Black Lou is nodding his head. Have you been in a bunch of naked uh, hot tubs? Hot tubs? No, I'm sorry. I was looking at what Lou's doing behind the 
Oh, 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 he's okay. killing it right now. My apologies. He's, uh, but I, but he's writing did. little notes to all of us about what we mean to. <laughs> <laughs> no, Shade would be perfect for your guy's weird gay bathhouse hang. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis being sentimental. <laughs> Lewis, Jay Gomez, and Ari Shafir asked me to go to uh, gay bathhouses constantly. I turn it down. <laughs> gay bathhouses. Oh, Turkish, Turkish bathhouse? Turkish bath. Yeah. Yeah, they're good. I haven't been to one, but I imagine they're good. I imagine they're good, too. If I was a gay guy, I wanted to go do gay stuff at a gay bathhouse. <laughs> I had when I, when I went to that. Christine, uh, when I went to the... stop trying to get me out to your stupid gay bathhouse hang. Go. Hang out. Show your clam to a bunch of dudes that don't want it. I did a Russian bathhouse um, when I did this Yahoo web series where the, they like had... Stop bragging. It was, it was a pretty sweet gig. Uh... But we did that where they like beat me with leaves in the fucking steam room, and if I felt I was so hungover when I went in, and I got that shit done, and I left, and I felt fucking sixteen. I felt you did unbelievable. Because huh? you, what they do is you go in the steam room, then you jump, you go in warm water once, back into the steam room, medium water the second time, back, in, and they like hit you with these leaves, and then you dunk into a cold pool, and you get out, and you're like, Ugh, and then they put these towels and shit on you, and yeah. and then it, I felt fucking unbelievable. Felt really good. Right now, you described sounds plots like up. someone tortured you. Yeah, plots up. Where Hopefully. does that end? Where does that go to? They wrap you in towels. That's it. Yeah. They dunk you in cold water, wrap you in towels, and you're your way. You felt you're 16 again. I felt great. That's a weird. It's the thing, thing with the plaza, with the way they beat you out, because they like hit you with leaves, and it's hot. Yeah, it's uh, that. That's it right there. Why is that? What do the leaves do? I don't know. They like knock out toxins in you. You don't believe that for one second, do you? I felt really good, and I Damn. was very hungover. <laughs> Damn. Do you believe for a second that what we're watching right here, people getting whacked with leafy feather dusters, <laughs> yes. is pulling a toxin out of your body? Do I you don't know. That? I felt great, Jay. <laughs> they say that one guy about... looks like an, like an animal handler. Dan, I worry about you. <laughs> I'm not going to be around forever. Time. I'm not going to be around <laughs> forever, buddy. I think you drink the Kool-Aid too quick. What are you kidding me? Go get a Palazzo treatment, bro. I don't need to have some guy slap me with leaves, dude. We all do this where we all have, like, jerk-off parties, right? No. Like, when you're, like, in middle school? No, you, like, but uh, <laughs> Louis J. Gomez yeah, okay, okay. said he used to organize them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there's nothing. And I've never been into a jerk-off, but that seems very bizarre. And I've definitely well, got, we only I've had, had some weird... Now. So we'd all, like, on a birthday, we'd yeah. all, like, jerk off in the same room. We'd all have a big blanket. A birthday? Off. Look, he, she yeah. found it. This was the web series I did where I go to... Mansum? The, yeah. It was be- not a good name. Uh, but Morgan Spurlock... Mansum. Did Roger Ailes write for that? Oh, that was my old fucking... No, don't go to the middle. So why would you listen to Dan? Skip over the first part. It's just a dumb... Look at that tattoo. It's real bad. It's this thing, you know? Did you hook up with that masseuse afterwards? No, it was a production assistant. Oh, what? Did you hook up with that production assistant? <laughs> was yeah. this all scripted? It was just like a dumb thing. Yeah, it was like a... Is it scripted? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yes. You don't always need to pay $200. Oh, to God. To Shut up, Dan. <laughs> smell like flowers. Turn it louder. Today, we're going to go to a Russian Turkish bathhouse for a fraction of the price and for the most manliest day at the spa you're ever going to have. I was a real alcoholic. Off Here we are inside. I'm with Mark, the manager of Spa 88. Mark, nice to meet you. Nice man. Thanks. Now, he was terrified. What makes this spa... <laughs> <no manly? laughs> Camera two. Those other spas that Camera one. Camera two. probably going to make me smell like lavender at the end of the day. First of all, we're not the Bellagio. You yeah, are a little and bitch. You pay $35, and you come in and use the facility. And the facility includes the steam room. Guys, the whole <laughs> play is not funny. We have a junior Olympic sized swimming pool. I mean, you have a jacuzzi. Uh-huh. And you have a juice bar on the premises, a restaurant. You could be a whole Soda wants to crawl under the console right now. Yeah. <laughs> That's Listen, horrible. Dude, it was better than waiting tables. And for three damn right. Bucks. No, absolutely. Fuck that shit. This has got host, me out of waiting tables. I've hosted, I've hosted 18 things like this in my yeah. career. I'm just I was saying. trying to get her to go to the place where they beat me up with the actual things. But, you, show you, coming, but you coming out spitting water oh, out of yeah. your mouth Real in the bad. pool? Real bad. Yikers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, dude. This was At real. the Bonfire SXM. Make sure you get a link to that. Ugh. I'm Dan. Now what I'm going to do is go out here and show you the yeah. Turkish bath. And I'll tell you this. Walk off camera left. Thousand times more than. Can I get you guys another guacamole? Absolutely. <laughs> and you guys want another Corona? I, All right, I'll be right back with your Patron you Margarita. I'm fully on board. Who was the worst How person ever? You are? Did you guys see the jacuzzi? He's almost like he's packing up the pieces of a broken guitar. And he's like, yeah, oh, here it is. You guys saw what happened? Yeah, just like there. a young Jerry Glanville in his comedy days. <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you. If you guys don't shut the fuck up, about two hundred people gonna beat the living shit out of you. All right. Yeah. It's so, it. oh. it's so funny at all for a... a so let's play this guitar. 
just because it's funny. Yeah, I'll tell you, if you guys don't shut the fuck up, about 200 people are going to beat the living shit out of you. I that is a, that's a very beautiful 12 string guitar, too. That's not a cheap guitar. Because we got people can just take you out of here so fast, man. It'll be like you out in the parking lot going, huh? <laughs> I know. It's LK State. If you get, if you get cracked know. across the chops by a guitar, with a guitar. Hold on. From I a wanna... guy who's also wearing a harmonica harness. He's got a Bob Dylan harmonica harness on. And also, it's just it's fun watching him. He looks like him. Rob Riggle. Yeah. <laughs> and he's going from zero. He's, he's going real soda. He's going zero to 60. And you can see him start ramping up because yeah. he's going like this. He's going, ah, he's just checking his chords. He goes, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to give you one more chance. I'm about to beat the fuck out of you. Yeah. Yeah. He's, okay. he's getting back of the kneecap sweat right now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know it well. His, his tongue's getting white. He's like, okay. Okay. This crowd's not my crowd. Yeah. Guys, I took this gig on a fucking two-day short notice. If I got it, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know, if you're in Oklahoma, is that okay? Oklahoma, I need I guess if you were gay, you'd be in Oklahoma. Kind of like this guy. But you know. You got to skip no, ahead really to the hit. Don't mess with me, because I don't come down to the we bus station. We got to take station. commercials right here. Oklahoma. No, really, don't mess with me, because I don't come down to the bus station and slap the dick out of your mouth when you're working. Dick. Damn! I'm sorry, man. The guy fucking came at me. What do you think, folks? No, no way. <laughs> okay, right there. Him. That's the best, though. No. You guys saw it. I was a total victim, right? I guess. No! That guy was getting up to peacefully leave. Also, what if that guy was such a comedy purist that he's like, that's just a hacky joke! You're a hack! He was killing before. That's the funny part. Yeah, they go, I'll come down to the bus station, I'll dig out of your mouth. Oh, it's a million times it's ever been used. Oh, God, it's turning into a fight. <laughs> um, well, dude, something we were talking about on the break that I tried to do like a slick radio segue, but it didn't work. Mm -hmm. When you were talking about lens crafters, I was like, mm -hmm. oh, you look like a fake doctor. Because mm -hmm. I can't believe we've never fucking talked about this story. Because yeah. the story I want to talk about was a fake masseuse who's accused of sexual assault in this lawsuit. But then Nick was like, oh, like that fake gynecologist in Florida <laughs> that was a high schooler. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? And there's no, and everyone on the staff swears we haven't covered it. I love, I love how I like. But how did we miss this? Florida had, Florida had this string of weird stories in like 2014 where it'd be like a man fucking an alligator, and then this like gynecologist, and then the bath salt thing. Yeah. So this, and people are like, that's Florida for you. And then the, uh, the Pulse nightclub shooting yeah. happened, and like no one wanted to be the <laughs> asshole. It's like, mm, guess that's Florida. <laughs> yeah. And then just hit that in the butt. That's yeah. the end of the yeah. well, wackiest Florida. Florida, huh? Oh, another the story greatest mass more. shooting of all time. Go, <laughs> so, hey, props to Florida for getting people to shut the fuck up. At. You want weird? We'll give you weird. You push? A Muslim gunning down 53 he goes, gays. He goes, when you push, we shove. Uh, yeah, right. Florida. <laughs> we'll show you how weird it can get, brother. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you want to make your little t-shirt jokes? Uh, well, yeah. apparently there was a teen arrested. Big ups for Florida. Big ups, Omar Mateen. Is that his name? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. That's the shooter. I thought, you knew, I thought you knew the fake gynecologist's name, oh, and I no. was like, you're in deep on this story. Uh -huh. like, well, here's the actual ABC story. An 18-year-old who calls himself Dr. Love <laughs> is under arrest this morning. Dude, uh, uh, pause it. Dr. Love. Please screen grab that picture, because Jacob's obsessed with it, and then also tweet it out. And they out. say post-rape Cosby can't be a role model. <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, look at that. There he is. He's got the Mr. T uh, mohawk up top, mm -hmm. and he's doing like a fucking Walmart <laughs> pose, like a Walmart photography yeah, pose. Yeah, he was like, he went to Olin Mills and said, let me get the Dr. Cosby. Yeah, yeah. They went, okay, yeah. fun. Uh -huh. oh, you want to be a doctor? I love it see a black man just yeah. <laughs> like, because you idolize powerful man yeah. don't you you want to be a professional he goes, that's like, it no nah, i'm just gonna dress up like a doctor i'm gonna rape <laughs> i'm gonna finger rape a bunch I'm of gonna rape a bunch of people with a, this a bunch of women that probably shouldn't live on their own <laughs> you know what would be funny if they never got caught and he got shot by the police they would show this picture and they were like he was gonna be a doctor <laughs> <laughs> also yeah, no one would know yeah, no one would know no one would have known <laughs> Medicine without a license. ABC Steve Osinsami has the By story. The, they keep I'm saying they medicine. They keep saying fingering a pussy is medicine. Yeah, they keep it. saying yeah. practicing uh, medicine. Damn, bitch, you need some. Uh, <laughs>
medicine. <laughs> <laughs> That's his dick. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, you want me to open the pharmacy? <laughs> He's just playing with his dick on the outside of his pants. <laughs> he goes, girl, you need some medicine. <laughs> All right, let's play. I love that this kid's a gynecologist, <laughs> and they haven't revealed it yet. Take a good look at the young man in the white doctor's coat seen here being hauled to jail by a Florida narcotics <laughs> team. Oh, wait, it's great. Tweet out this picture, too, because it does look like a doctor's comment on a major news story. We have the victim. They are healing. Um, the pussies have not been stretched. Uh, we know <laughs> a lot of them are intact. A lot of them are dry. Slots, we have some. Uh, slightly fingered. Because some of them are wet. Some of them have been fingered. Some I will... <laughs> We do not know the severity of the fingering. Or to what degree. See, what, what had happened was I, <laughs> I was fingering pussies good. I was, a few bitches said their pussies were sick. I fingered them. Goes, and then Craigslist mm -hmm. checked my backup email, and that's when they realized I wasn't a doctor. Yeah, I wasn't, anyway, I wasn't shout out, motherfucker. Pussydoctor at gmail.com. <laughs> that was the, rough, the referral. All right, this is him commenting. You will from my lawyer. Hard to believe, oh, but yeah. police say that Dr. Malachi <laughs> Love Robinson is Mal no doctor. His lawyer is another 17. <laughs> goes, I'm a 60. I'm a junior <laughs> posing as a lawyer. He's like, I'm, look, I got this, but I'm going to act like a lawyer, defend women, finger them in their cells. <laughs> <laughs> when I inevitably lose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I'm gonna Roman, if I make them be held in contempt of court, I go visit them in their cell. He goes, Guess what's in the briefcase? Big slippery dildo. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, I like that he goes by Dr. Love. He was examined by an undercover cop. The cop was like, okay, okay, yeah, you're in there. Uh, you're busted, mister. It reminds me of that, <laughs> reminds me of that South Park where, where he fucking acts like a prostitute and fucks him. He's like, I'm a cop. Give it to me. Come on, you sissies. I can fit more of you. Yeah, you like your little stripper whore? You like her? Freeze. After he blows the dude? Doctor at all. And in fact, he's a teenager accused this morning of trying to pass himself off as a physician for months. Investigative reporters at our West Palm Beach affiliate <laughs> WPBF 25 have been following the 18-year-old and even sat him down for an interview. He admits that a year ago, he was the same teenager police detained at a local hospital after a gynecologist found him in an exam room wearing a hospital lab coat and a stethoscope around his neck. I didn't snatch out a baby. I didn't do any of that. Yeah. I didn't get my hand that far in. <laughs> goes, I was going for it. I was inches <laughs> away from the baby. <laughs> he goes, I he goes I'm not going to lie. Yeah, yeah. He goes, I got a fingertip I, that touched I, I'll some say scalp. this. I did baby up a snatch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, I got that thing ready. I got that thing ready. Love and say he fooled his victims with this elaborate website and this glowing bio <laughs> where he calls New himself life. a well-rounded <laughs> professional who uses psychotherapy, electrotherapy, and a long list of other techniques. He goes, first I'll make you feel good, then that dick make you feel electric. Can I shock the pussy? <laughs> <laughs> he goes, that's the shocker. He goes, you, got, you ready for electric therapy? The woman looks down and she's like, what do you think? He's just shaving a landing strip into her pubes. He's like, he goes, I thought this was part of it. He goes, this is sexy. This yeah. is what I like. I'm not trying to upsell you here, but. Yeah, I you can know, bedazzle it. Your insurance isn't going to cover the landing strip. <laughs> you got Blue Cross. Yeah. I just got to shave half. I mean, honestly, considering how fucked up healthcare in this country is, if someone's willing to f at least finger pussies for free, God bless that man. <laughs> this is as close as we're going to get to Bernie Sanders in the White yeah, House. Let him is... fucking go free. <laughs> let him just let this man let out. Let him go free. Let this man out of his cell. In early January, he held a grand opening for this medical clinic. That's where police sent an undercover cop posing as a patient. When he started giving her a physical exam, she oh, put him in fuck. handcuffs. Oh, Damn, it's like, it's like cruising. <laughs> where Al Pacino has to have gay sex to find the serial killer. <laughs> Dude, I love that. Imagine being that female cop. They're like, listen, <laughs> Diane... I know you already get plenty of shit in the locker room, but we're going to need you to let you have this 17-year-old finger blast your pussy. You are our top narcotics <laughs> lieutenant, and we respect you. Uh, right. Unfortunately, you're the only one on the squad with a pussy, and we got this kid. His name's Dr. Love. He's going to yeah. try to give you... Dude, imagine him, like, it's just, you're, you're uh, sitting on that table, and he comes in with that confidence, like, yeah. putting on a glove. He's like, I mean, are you a squirter? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, what? He goes, do you want to come fast or slow? Yeah. I just goes, like to imagine him ass fingering. Herc from the wire wearing a wig. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go ahead and just stick it in there. Yeah. Uh, 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 that's it, I'm done. Uh, yeah. There's what? How does he get in? 
How does there there has to be a nurse in the room? Affirmative how action. Did everyone, <laughs> how did he just get a medical facility to, to scam bad, people? Too with? bad there wasn't a white lady to call the cops <laughs> as soon as he walked in. Yeah. Could have avoided yeah. I'll tell you who goes. I'll tell you who goes undetected longer. Asian teenager that decides to do oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that kid. Good luck, buddy. Yeah. You'll be fucking. You'll be. You'll be one of the members of the board before <laughs> they find out. Is his dick spinning all of them and they can't tell? <laughs> Oh, let's see what he. I love these. Like you're a speak to my lawyer. He's oh, like. Yeah. Can I point out that right before this, you had there was a also on his website was a f- a Photoshop of him with two nurses behind him to yeah. give legitimacy. Just Monster Which Energy we, booth just, girls. He just, he just, two, <laughs> he just photoshopped himself in front of two nurses. Do you think he photoshopped car show with the new, the new Lancer? I think that's the remodification <laughs> GTO. Yeah, yeah. And, if he actually nurses. got nurses to stand behind, oh, that's dude, incredible. I don't think it's hard for... Uh, they just find like, some black nurses in Florida. <laughs> yeah. Those just look uh, fake. <laughs> Real. Fake. I'll uh, go back to his I'll say, I feel like this kid's as much of a doctor as Judge Mathis is a judge. Yeah. You absolutely. Know? Oh, absolutely. And then He's as much as a doctor as Dr. People. Phil? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So if you're Dr. Phil, you can get away with it. Yeah. You know? So white... He's allowed to touch people's hearts, which are way more delicate than a pussy. Guys. Christine? They're not lying to finger girls, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's, yeah. You know, that that's whole a little weird. Thing. Do you know that for a fact? <laughs> no, you know I don't. Thank you, Nick. Bonfire on the record, official opinion of everyone here, Dr. Phil has raped people. <laughs> With his fingers. His finger people on the show. Allegedly. 100% bonfire confirmed. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> for sure. You got yeah. bad baby, dude. Uh-huh. Allegedly. Right. I would baby. like to rescind my comments yeah. about Dr. Phil after thinking about it for another second. <laughs> <laughs> I need my, my family and my friends need privacy at this time. Yeah, yeah. Please don't leave me alone. Let's go to the end of the news All clip. The people that you know, believed in you, that thought you, know, you well, knew what you were talking about. I'm hurt because of the accusations and the allegations, but like I said, this is not the first time where I've been accused, and yeah. I will pursue this. He's being held on $3,000 bond set to appear in court later this morning. What does he think well, he's going to win? Steve How does he think he's going to be exonerated from this? They go, you know what? He really is going to be a doctor from the future. He came back in time. Yeah. Look at I that mean, cop with the mask. Like, he's trying to hide his identity. Yeah. Like, he's ashamed of he's it. He's afraid of this kid, dude. <laughs> he knows how powerful this kid is. <laughs> this guy he's like, you're 18 and fingering? <laughs> you're sneaking into clinics and fingering? Dude? I don't want you to know who I am. You're like a super villain, dude. Show up in my house, painted like fucking, the wall. Are you Mr. Glass, dude? <laughs> I guess that's like... He's the, just going to... All of a sudden, your kitchen basket comes alive, and it's him. He's like, I've been playing in this revenge for 15 years just while I was on the keep showing up as different professions. <laughs> yeah. That firefighter? Was that kid again? <laughs> oh, man. All of his stuff is so easy to get the costume. <laughs> I will fight these. Okay, so that was the end of the news story. I will fight these allegations. I will get through. I love that. I fucking love that. Is there another news story where they call him Doc Doogie Hauser? There definitely was one about a fake gynecologist and said real life Doogie Hauser. Or I conflated two stories, and you assholes had to call me on it. <laughs> yeah. Instead of Welcome letting to the me, truth. Instead of letting me have that. Well, we're not gonna let you live your alleged life here. Yeah, my secret life. <laughs> your secret according life. According to Alan. Yeah. My secret tortured internal life. Again, more metal lyrics. Yeah. Oh, I, it is pretty cool, he I goes, guess. He goes, black hole, son. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you come? Yeah. Have you tried smiling like those people in the video? <laughs> Let's just watch the Black Hole Sun music video. He goes, really? Yeah. Respect. What I do you say? I go in there and I just talk to him about thrash metal for, <laughs> yeah, he's for fucking, two hours. At the end of the day, he's into that. Yeah. So this kid was charged. Was he convicted? Uh, let's play this one. Malachi, they say you've been practicing medicine without a license. Fuck that shit. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, oh, you mean get my... Get my fingers wet? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't practice medicine. I perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he's, and then he drags his finger yeah. under the nose of the reporter. Yeah. I love it. He goes, he goes on Shark Tank in the suit. And he's, yeah. right, and he's like, my plan? Pretending to be a doctor to take a piss. <laughs> and they're all like, I'm out, except for the FUBU guy. <laughs> and he goes, go on. Yeah. He, they just tent their fingers at each other. Oh, shit. He got three years. Nice. Full calendar year. Uh, and this is from 2018. Shit. So this is, he got sentenced in January. Yep. He got uh, 18, poses a fake doctor running a fake clinic. Uh, the new birth, new life, alternative <laughs> medicine, an urgent care clinic without a license. Mm-hmm. At the time he was arrested. Yeah. So we, we know that. 
I think this guy legitimately didn't understand how awful what he was doing really was, and that's actually a really scary thing. Yeah, well, I mean, he also got caught for writing bullshit checks and grand theft. <laughs> yeah. This guy's... Oh, I mean, what a so that's what artist. he was sentenced for. Yeah. yeah. He did know. He's a, if he saw... He really did see Catch Me If You Can. He was like, I'm just going to yeah. do this the way I want to do it. Yeah. He goes, instead of airplanes, it's pussy. And uh-huh. Nissans. And Nissans. <laughs> used pussy Nissan, and yeah. Nissans. <laughs> Those are real apartment yeah. complex dreams. He's just, still Chris walking and his dad for yeah. some reason. He goes, Son, <laughs> one of these days you're going to grow up and you're going to finger all of the pussy. Of course. Just wait to finger the pussies. Yeah. Who are you fingering tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Who are you fingering? Can't do it. It feels really good. It feels good. It feels good to finger. I'll get you your first room at the double tray. <laughs> you pretend. Open a banquet. I'm from the new Rochelle gynecology clinic. <laughs> <laughs> this is my doctor. Also my son. <laughs> it's my, my son here is my associate at the new Rochelle gynecology clinic. <laughs> uh, ma'am, we just came down to this bank to maybe get a loan and also finger your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Check her for polyps if she has them. It's possible your wife has pussy cancer. Luckily, my son may be able to do something about that. He's Perhaps got... if you could give me a three thousand dollar business loan, so I can open up my tie sorting business. He's got down what at the I can... new Rochelle Rotary Club. What only others have called the touch. <laughs> Let him touch your pussy. Oh, you want to do the Star Spangled Banner? Yeah. Star Spangled Banner. Is this it? She found what you could fast forward though. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. By the dawn's early light, who's... God, let me hear you, people. <laughs> Shut the fuck Please. up, Truman Capote. The uh. so bright, eh? <laughs> yeah, go back, go. So bright, eh? Go back a little. So bright. That's my favorite. <laughs> so bright, eh? <laughs> Be me and the... Uh, Come on, buddy. The perilous. Wow. Oh, the ramparts we Ugh. were so gallantly streaming, and the rockets blitz <laughs> the bombs burst. The only way this is acceptable is he's moving the microphone away from his face like old lounge singers. And the how you guys doing tonight? Don't forget to go out to the old Scorpion Casino, Scorpion River Casino. Give it out four ninety nine steaks and the rockets. <laughs> Don't forget, there's a Huey Lewis cover band from six to eight p.m. That our flag night, that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled Look at that suit. Banner yet that guy looks like he should fucking pop out of a kid's cereal bowl and tell kids that they got more, fucking, they got more clusters of oats than anybody. Hey, you kids want to be involved in the sex trade? <laughs> yeah, I sell kids. It's what I do. <laughs> Scott Murphy, kid trader. <laughs> I mean, he definitely looks like a kid trainer. He, yeah. he takes like glamour shots of little girls. He goes, "You, we're going to puff your hair up. Do you like to put makeup on? Your mommy says you like makeup. Oh my, you look like such a little adult. Look at you. You look, you're a beautiful young woman. Mm. You're seven years old. What a delight. Are you kidding, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Frankus? Do you see a smile on my face? You are <laughs> the absolute definition of beauty. <laughs> Pure. If you tell your mother, we'll both be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we can no longer do our shirtless hugs. <laughs> <laughs> you like the way these feel, don't you? <laughs> don't you? Jesus. Don't Let's you? Watch him anyway, eat tricks. Yeah. <laughs> Cereal. <laughs> he just goes back into the bowl. Do you remember when people met each other online in the 90s? You were a psycho if you're, like, willing to go through. My sister... Did we ever actually... When we talked about that documentary, The Swiped, we never watched old fucking footage of, like, the people... Old dating tapes. Yeah. Just those... But just, like, the The call-in lines when the guys would do, like, little commercials. Hi, I'm Kyle. I like... I I like a woman who has more of a fine taste, I guess, and... uh, I am a party animal, bro. I'll see you on the way. Did we talk about that? Did we go through them at all? No. No, We we just talked about the documentary. We did it in the studio. Off the air, we watched it. Yeah, off air we watched it. We had fun off air. There's off air fun on the bonfire. DJ Lou knows. He catalogs all of this. Yeah, here it is. And this was... Yo, what's up, bitch? <laughs> it's just FaceTiming. I mean, it's all it's a bunch of okay, butterfuckos. Early, to, bed, early yes. to rise yes. makes 
a woman healthy, wealthy, and wise. That's why you're wiser than me. It's Stephen. I mean, the guy's wearing right. a weightlifting belt in his video. Dude, this is great. I, that'd be my vibe in the <laughs> 80s, right there. Man, no one doesn't have just a mustache. No, oh, man, no one. Here's your vibe I'm an now, executive Dan. by day and a wild man by night. Yeah. Hi, my name's Monroe. Uh, you've probably already noticed that I have incredibly blue eyes. Yeah. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Go yeah, back, go back to the guy great. that's a wild man at night. I just got to hear that one more time. I'm a wild man at night. I'm a, I'm a pretty tame dog in the boardroom and then a wild man at night. Did these guys crush ass in the 80s, though? They did. They had spread somehow. <laughs> <laughs> that's patient zero? You yeah, right there? Fuck, he banged a monkey. <laughs> he just started slanging dick. Hey, and even out there? Primates. Yes, <laughs> I'll take anything. Also, I live in the Indianapolis metro area, so I'm willing Some to. Some might think be... silverback's too big a woman for me. <laughs> I say no. I enjoy the challenge. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. <laughs> Hi, my name's Monroe. <laughs> well, that's my favorite. Go back here a little bit before he goes. You probably already noticed my crazy blue eyes. <laughs> I'm a executive in the boardroom by day. Wild man at night. Wild man at night. <laughs> Maurice. Hi, I'm Maurice. I'm an executive by day and a wild man by night. Hi, my name's Monroe. Uh, you've probably already noticed that I have incredibly blue eyes. Hi, my name is Phil. Hey! Uh, most of my Whoa, friends call me Big Phil. Uh, that's great. He goes, um, uh, is that I'm a Phil. Matthew McConaughey character? Yeah, this is a parody. Is it? I don't know. Cause no. that's Wait, that's from fucking True Detective Pit Play. <laughs> I like to talk to people uh, deep into the night. Wait, what? That was I not true. Guitar. I thought that was, was that Pete Lee, <laughs> that next guy. Dude, that's, this is crazy. That guy, he was sitting back like Matthew McConaughey in fucking True Detective Season 1. Yeah. Time's flat circle. <laughs> I want to date you because you might be the Yellow King. <laughs> Go ahead, play. I'm Aton. Yes! <laughs> Hi, I'm Fred. Hi, my name's Mike, and if you're sitting there watching this tape smoking your cigarette, well, hit the fast-forward button, because I don't smoke, and I don't like people who do smoke. Oh! Um, Mike's letting you know life. he fucking lays down the law. Hi, I'm Mike, and if you're smoking a cigarette, put it out on your pussy, because you're garbage. <laughs> and I want nothing to do with it. I don't let some trash bitch come eat my mother. Yeah, hi, I'm Mike, and if you're smoking, jump in front of a car, because you're already dead to me. <laughs> Let's put back to Maurice. I'm not afraid to get sand on my tuxedo if you're not afraid to let the wind mess your hair up a little bit when I take the top down. Perhaps oh, oh, you why the fuck is he wearing a tuxedo on their date? I don't know, dude. Have Please. you ever wore, have you you ever wore a tuxedo on a beach? Dude, how great would it be just to make a date plans with a girl and say, let's go for uh, dinner at this place and just like an Outback Steakhouse and yeah. you just show up in a tuxedo <laughs> What an asshole you are? You're such a dick to that girl in yeah. so many ways. She's like, oh, you wore a tuxedo? You went, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's Outback. first date. What so, do you want? Goes, you went with jeans? No, yeah, I guess. Right. I, I didn't know we were going to go goes, more casual. I thought you said we were going putt-putt after this. He goes, yeah. I thought you wanted to walk on the beach. Yeah, my tuxedo. <laughs> I don't mind getting some sand on my tuxedo. Did you even watch the whole video? She goes, are you she gonna, goes I really kind of, I heard Wild Man at night, and I was hooked. She goes, I'm a, I'm a nymphomaniac. I'm a real problem. <laughs> Who's this guy? Who's this fucking former boyfriend of Trish? Not nobody plays the piano. <laughs> Dude, this That's is, how he impresses this your is women. Every guy that dated my mom in the nineties. <laughs> I believe you. A nice bath with no, champagne and candles. Hi, mom. <laughs> what? Um, Eddie Guerrero. What the fuck I with that hair? Photography. And I do consider myself a refined valley dude. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for a trendy girl with a simple smile. Smile? Wait, it says here. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. What I'm not looking for is uh, some big... A bunch of bitching. <laughs> watch, yeah, watch this. This is great. I, I know this one because this was in Swiped. Oh, excuse me. I don't know. What I'm not looking for is uh, some big overgrown monster that's always thinking about food and who so binds <laughs> Dude, Don Nelson uh, <laughs> the coach former coach for the fucking Golden State Don Warriors <laughs> for the Mavericks and the Golden State Warriors yeah that guy's great he's like I'll tell you what I don't want some fat food hungry bitch I want some <laughs> pig coming over and that he go, and he didn't want a pig and later he would create bulimia 
<laughs> it is funny sitting in front of a screen and going like, I guess pretty much what I want is like a model. Yeah. And are you, wait, so this you guys are gonna just a real sexy girl to tame this wild man. I look forward to feeling the ocean touch us both <laughs> as we make love under the water. I do cocaine. I do a lot of cocaine. I do a lot of blow. A lot of blow. I got money. <laughs> I got a kid in Seattle. I don't see ever. So I am spending all that money on straight. Yakima too. <laughs> Dude, it'd be great if Gary showed up on one of these. He's like, I'm Gary. I party. If you're into Jimmy Buffett, I'll suck your puss. Hey. <laughs> I go, yeah. Dad. I got, all right, Dad. He goes, I got an ex-wife. A little bit of yeah. a brick. My dad, my Gary would be like, hey, I'm Gary. I'm in between places, but, you know, I'll get my knuckles dirty in more ways than one. Anyway, for some reason, I have an automatic tranny porn mags. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, we just do our, our dad's dating profile. He goes, hey, I'm Gary. I'm a bartender. I live with my mom, but that doesn't mean I can't fuck. <laughs> Sometimes my kid's got to stay with me. He's got a big head and a deep voice. It weirds me out. <laughs> Don't worry. He'll stay at my mom's. I'll stay at your place. I'm into flight attendants, women who work at restaurants, and occasionally a girl that works at a rental car place. <laughs> Good. And uh, some severe sweater meat. Yeah. I'm looking for some blouse hounds. If you got tits, call the G-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up. Extension 01121. Oh, uh, 8008. <laughs> 80085. It says boobs. I'm coming with a with a V pattern and then run the weave. Oh, I'm talking about like Don now. Nelson. Yeah, I told you, dude. It's exactly yeah. like Golden State Warriors coach Don Nelson. Absolutely. Hit the open three. We have the available. We're going to have the guard swing over. We're going to have the four take advantage. Look, rebounds are the, the, the fundamental element of the game. If you don't get rebounds, you don't have the ball. <laughs> what does Don Nelson say? I don't Winged know. life destroy. Um, I like Woody to uh, do a lot of sailing. I like to outdoor activities. I like climbing. I like travel. I took a sponge ball. You a child? Was... Wait, hold on. What's Jim Carrey saying? Pulling him out of a little girl's ear. Vivacious, foxy. I'm looking for the goddess. Are you the goddess? <laughs> Who is the goddess? The goddess is the woman, is a woman, is any woman, is all women. A figure that is sexy. <laughs> I gotta, I'll be honest with you, it was crushing me that this guy's wearing knuckle gloves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, crushing hold, uh, Holding me. a rose. He, he found, I was just doing the uh, butterfly effect. He found the goddess. <laughs> the goddess was married. He was murdered five years later. <laughs> I'm wearing a leather jacket over a denim jacket, over a denim shirt. Are you the goddess? Over a t-shirt. What is a goddess? Is a goddess a goddess? In the goddess de vida. <laughs> In the goddess de vida. <laughs> the goddess de vida. <laughs> Don't you know that I want you, like baby? <laughs> <laughs> he go, he, he's, Ricky's gone totally nuts. He goes, all right, cut. Ricky's gone bad shit. Guys, someone want to slap him on the side of the head? <laughs> right. Excellent legs. Mm. I'm a 25-year subscriber to both Playboy George and the New York magazine. <laughs> George Papadopoulos? Is that Webster's dad? Yes. Dude, yeah. I'm a tw that's who you open with? Yeah. I'm a 25-year subscriber to Playboy magazine. Because I know good TNA, so don't bring that weak shit in I here. like a heavy, curved-out tit. Yeah. And I like a wild muff. I like a cartoon that's from the 17th century. <laughs> if you can keep your goddamn opinions to yourself and shut your yap, I'll take you out for a meal. Occasionally, I'll let you rub my feet while I smoke a cigar. <laughs> I'm when my friend's it. coming around, you keep your bitch ass in the, yeah. the be kitchen if you know what's good for you. And when I have a war dream, don't bring it up the next day. <laughs> 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 and if I go having one of my Korea dreams, you just sit in the back and wait till it's over. You just make sure you keep firearms out of the bed, <laughs> the room where I sleep. <laughs> I'm a 25 year subscriber of. Playboy and guns and ammunition, which I means need, I am a danger to myself and the people around me. I need insulin twice a day, and I hate needles. I need you to help. <laughs> yeah. You will empty my bedpan. You <laughs> will also thank me for it, for the experience. <laughs> Keep going. At night, I operate a damsel in distress hotline. What? I guess you'd call me a knight. Uh, one of my favorite foods is pizza. Jesus Christ. And just... 
Sugar and spice and all those things that are nice. What? Like to be with people who Man, are... Man, can I tell you something? Let me tell you what, something for sure. That, went through these, that That didn't go through these guys' minds when they were making this video. <laughs> yeah, this that forever? the internet would get created. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar and spice and uh, everything nice. I mean, this guy... I guess. This guy couldn't redeem himself in your eyes. Dude, if he showed up to me and he's like, I am the CEO of pussy now, uh, I'd go... No, don't really. matter, dude. You are a clam sandwich. You're fucking feathered er Eddie Guerrero haircut. <laughs> Keep playing more, please. Or as fun and adventurous Dauber. as well. He looks like Dauber. Having fun. Have fun. <laughs> I enjoy having fun, yes. Looking for somebody who has who likes to have a lot of fun. I'm looking for someone to have fun with. Yeah, Maurice. Love to have a good time. Oh. Uh, able to have fun. Uh, fun and laughter. And anything that's fun. I like to have fun. You probably yeah, noticed my deep blue eyes. <laughs> You're probably fucking yourself to the thought of me just looking at you. Well, if you dial this extension, it could all happen for let's, real. Let's take a break so we can get our guests come in. This is like the one of the first viral videos. And what else do you have and going goes, on? What here? else? Well, Watch this. And we're done. And she goes, and spend the day listening to well, I gotta tell you, Janice, I never really quite tested food. the weight limit of this thing before. Vineyard tours, this seminars, is so satisfying. Oh, uh, girl, it's a lot of just fun, a whole day. Stop. It's still funny. It doesn't get old. Wait, wait. Oh, it goes back to the newscasters and go, oh. Oh, I can't breathe. Stop. Wait, please go back. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, dear. I think she's actually hurt. No, oh. I think she is. Well, I think... Please go if, back to the if, if, if they went back to him and he was just like, I think the... I think that's fucking hilarious. Can you please go I'm back? sorry. I, uh, you guys are lucky that I slapped it together this far. I'm, I was dying that she just ate shit. Anybody else? Ron? Ron, did we get that? Did she eat shit live on? Oh, that's great. Oh, the that is... The noise is... Coming up, something your dogs could be eating could be eating you. Is she... How, how injured is she? God, she, that loud mouth ate shit. I hate her. We were married for five years. <laughs> I, dude, my face hurts. That mm. noise is so. Im she's immediately going. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> ow, 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 stop, ow, stop, ow, ow. Some people didn't make it out of. Some people didn't make it out of the nineties with that much success and beauty. Uh, some of them <laughs> yeah. taking a weird turn in life, like our friend Corey Feldman. Corey Feldman. What? Best gift I've seen is uh, Ralph Sutton got you. Uh man, I'm so oh, jealous he Jesus. thought of this. Look at that. Well, fucking right. athletic Mike Fenoya just fucking <laughs> laid in, dude. He looks like Casey Kasem stunt double. He looks like he looks like an elementary school principal. Oh, he, lo dude. he looks like a real Named life Lego Joanne. man. He looks like a Lego man. You remember how they did real life Simpsons? <laughs> <laughs> it's like if they did real life Lego man. He looks like. Is this a good description? He looks like That's young. Perfect, dude. He looks like they tried to do the Irishman youth photography <laughs> yeah. on uh, a current. Christopher Reeve. <laughs> yeah. Christopher he pulled Christopher. him up. He pulled him up and they go, we can make him young. And he put the thing on him. Yeah, I mean, and, and then, have you heard it yet, the whole thing? Yeah. You it. have. It's great. Okay. Have you heard this, Mikey, at no. all? Because no, play it. Let it uh, rip. He is, he does every, he doesn't know it's me. We'll say this. Ralph gave him, he told him to say the word big guy at one point. Yeah. Jay. And uh, and so like, but it's it's this. This is what he would. He would have sent bonfire. He would have shut down. He yes. Oh man. He, he gave the wrong. He gave the wrong birthday and everything on purpose. And, and he just said, uh, "Not that Corey from whatever looked that deep." Wait into a it. second, December seventh. I know. Jay, that big. It's all yeah, he coming just did together. This. Yeah, he just it was unnecessary. He's not that into us or knows that much about us. But to get him to do this is so fantastic because he does even in just like gracious thing he thinks he's doing or his cameo tells me and yeah. my invites constantly that i'm doing this for my fans <laughs> mm. charge them hundreds of dollars for me to say hi but uh it's weird it's weird it is weird but like he's doing it and ralph got him to do this for me not knowing it was me and he still he just organically says the most insane you see this already Lou? yeah says the most crazy narcissist it's bananas man it's crazy it's crazy Hello, this is Corey Feldman, and I have a very special video message for Jay. Jay, 
This is a very special video message for your birthday. Did you know? He said a very special oh, video on, message twice. Back. Yeah. The what up is definitely like a guy trying to talk to his kids' friends. Totally. Uh, what <laughs> up? What's up? You guys watching hey, some TV? Hey, I'm at Universal. You having some pizza? All right. Yeah. Here, watch. Put your mother you guys on. Guys enjoying the pool? Put your mother on. <laughs> yeah. Birthday. What up? <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday and much love all the way from Los Angeles, California. This is my recording studio. Oh, that's the beautiful part of Los Angeles. Happened. And that's right. Right behind me, you can see there is a big poster of me and the angels. And although the angels aren't here right now to help celebrate your birthday, just know that all the angels are in love with Jay. That's right. They wanted you all to know is going to be a day of reckoning for the angels. They're going to stop whatever they're doing. Send them over for band practice. Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny is he goes, Jumping jacks, bitches. He goes, here with a hold your, here. Hold he goes, your instruments. Here. I don't mean to uh, I don't mean to make dark of a light situation, but it was a problem at the Highline Theater. They didn't want to leave. They saw Jay in the back, and they all became enamored. I had to drive. They're going to hate me. I'm going to make them do Tough Mudders holding snare drums over their heads. He's like fucking uh, sir, is like this for drum seal line? training. Yeah. <laughs> is this seal training? Sir, are we in Walk a... up an excite bike hill? <laughs> sir, are we in the marching band of a black university? And you go, it's that intense. Grand Lake. <laughs> that intense. You want to go to Florida fucking A&M? Black. You want to come to Florida A&M? You fucking bring it. He goes, they <laughs> love you. He goes, I hope so. Because I'm putting them. They think Corey Feldman's school's been tough? <laughs> Go, Jay Okerson's school is going to be a motherfucker. Go, I'm, I'm weighing that, everybody every day with calipers. I'm glad that, I'm glad they love me. Now. Yeah. I'm glad, that's how I get them in. Yeah. Then if we don't have them dressing as all kinds of other shit. Because I don't know what kind of pimp you are. I'm a mean one. I make them dress like different animals. I make yeah. them wear masks of like just kangaroo faces and shit. <laughs> yeah, like, so. Are you always going to go on bank robberies? He looks like he's wearing like a shiny like fucking like a cult leader robe. He's always that dressed. That just has a black hood that comes he's, right over his face. Yeah, too. he's always dressed like he's from Krypton. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah totally is. Oh, did someone send that? Did you see that picture someone sent? No. So he looks like jor Oh, that's so that great. Jacob. Buddy. Yeah. Oh, Jacob? Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah, Jacob's in the picture. Oh, yeah. He looks like fucking jor I he also, Or he looks like he's like it, at halftime as a mascot. Yeah. He just took the head off. He does look like in the 50s when they made space movies yeah totally like someone's eyes are here yeah, yeah he's just he like, goes, hey usually i'm the hey. alabama i'm the alabama <laughs> elephant God, normally i'm a san jose shark hey i'm the crimson tide i had to stop from dancing and doing a fucking alabama roll tide dance to it's wish me. you a happy birthday bell dog i'm a terrapin <laughs> i'm the cardinal jay and say jay you're awesome the angels think you're awesome and we all want you to have a happy, gigantic, joyful, and wonderful birthday. There you go. Big guy. All right, big and guy. And that comes from not just me and not just my angels. You're but also positive. Your... That's what the first time where I was like, Corey being Corey. Yeah. Calling them his angels. My yeah. angels. Uh, no, also just the thing goes, they love you. It's the whole thing is told in such condescending tone. It yeah. sounds like he's, he's talking, talking to a kid. Like, he's like, doing this while like he's sitting talking on a like, human chair. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's like the angels <laughs> are making his chair. But I'm saying more like he's talking. <laughs> he's talking to me, and not knowing who I am, obviously. Like I have a fucking feeding tube in my stomach, and I'm being kept alive <laughs> like by a, a machine. Kid. He goes, "They all love you today, big guy." And I'm like, "What do you think you're talking to?" <laughs> <laughs> One day you're gonna fly you're, with the angels. He goes, <laughs> "They want to be with you." If, oh, if I wasn't here, these girls would love you so much. You don't even know it. <laughs> He goes, I, I probably, he goes, I probably, I, I probably, they probably leave me for you. And you're like, you said the gasoline <laughs> burned off most of my phone. Corey, give me a hug. I'm going to say something. He goes, oh, no, Please, no, God, no. kill me. Oh, look at and you. this pain. He goes, oh, look at you. You look like a Toschino's pizza roll that popped. <laughs> Gazoo! Oh man, you look like a leaky <laughs> Tostitos. Oh, Gazoo! That's weird. What is that, caramel nougat on your face? I didn't know your organs could get road rash. Angels, <laughs> glove up. Yeah, he goes, ah, we're going to need it. Listen. I thought you girls loved me. <laughs> I got to put back on. Eyes. He goes, I have a Corey Hay mascot costume. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a gaping asshole in the back. You want to play on it, kid? You want to play on it? Kid, let's, let's watch the rest of it. Angels, but also from your boy Ralph, because Ralph is the one who asked me to do this, 
and asked me to send you this incredible birthday video message. Incredible. So give your boy Ralph a big hug. Say thanks for that. And Jay, have an incredible birthday. Peace and love. God bless. Corey Feldman out. I'm Corey Feldman out. Get that. Back that up so we can get that wow. drop. Get I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Be quiet. Everyone be quiet. I'm sorry. Sorry. So, give your boy, Ralph, a big hug. Say thanks for that. And, Jay, have an incredible birthday. Peace and love. God bless. Corey Feldman out. There we go. Wow, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? Come on. I want to. Yeah. Yeah, you should read it out. Um, he. Man, what if he, like, someone tells him and then he sees it? He's like. <laughs> no, he should get mad. Yeah, he'll get mad about that. That was he a good one. Do you oh, know he did, like, blocks. 13 that and then oh, he, he should get mad about that. It's great. They can never shut you down. They can never tell you you don't have a voice. That is one of the greatest things that we've achieved in the last few years. So, by the way, could you block this person that says R.I.P. Corey Haim because they're actually a Wolfpack member? Uh, Where did but, he get you? As I said, it was like right here. Can you show okay. me? Well, it's it's faded now. You won't really see much. All right, let's. Let me be honest with you. He's doing a dance move here, and he is gliding across the floor. It is, great. and it's gravel. It's smooth. The kid's light on his toes, which does not lend itself. To this kid being in the puss, but I mean, it moves for days. I mean, I just think he's so fluid, like a river. <laughs> I love pussies. it. There's no pussies. He flow like water. But now he's awake. We're not pussies. <laughs> yeah. You guys will go and make videos like Jaden Smith. You what? don't need no label. You start your own label with Jake Paul and make videos. Do you understand? We're that. awake now. Yes. We know everything. See. I know you know. Watch how Jaden dances like fire in their campsite. I am not trying to record label Miss Oh, I think there was a reference to Menace to Society. Oh. Really? I think this is something about like a teacher or so or a principal. Lying. Professor like a are we really breaking it down like it's Bob Dylan lyrics? Lying like a professor? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm I making. think the professor Lying. I think the professor is Lying. racism. And I'm making can you please build the lyrics that we could do his with Bob Dylan? <laughs> Bob Dylan? <laughs> Bob Dylan Smith I and I, I'm just an icon living. I'm just an icon living. I'm just an icon living in the world. Go, you do it, uh, and I'll do a. Uh, okay. <laughs> what do you call an icon living? Start a record label. MSFTS just did it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Nylon cover five minutes. Whoa! Whoa! We oh, we up too hot. In the business. Woo! About to make an independent movie. Woo! Yeah, this is horrible. <laughs> this is, you look at the lyrics and you're like, all your did verses you just, are like dirty dishes. Did oh, you who's, just, he, who's he beefing with? I don't know. Did he just hit the middle button on his texts? You know how you can do that on your iPhone? And just put words. random words that yeah. like, like it's an algorithm? They're like, Jaden, we need you to write the song. He goes, hold on. <laughs> Done. Let's film this video. Quick. Give me my mom's fucking fire, wall. car, sky, plates. Go. Bleaching my hair, <laughs> losing the weight, getting the AIDS, moving forward. Chicken, fingernails, toes. Do it as Springsteen. Cause that's even better. I think we could Go do ahead. Springsteen, Jaden Smith. Go back to the lyrics. Go back to the lyrics. Yeah, we don't want to hear him rip it. Uh, I'm gonna speak, uh, I'm, I'm gonna speak it up before I get the records. Hey everybody, I'm just an icon living, I'm just an icon living, living. <laughs> I, I, icon living. No, you gotta do, you have uh, to actually. I'm gonna sing like a thing, this is my talk in. Yeah, but I'm saying you actually can do a talk in into the icon living. Where you go, you know, a lot of men, they walk around and You're they don't realize. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be the. Growing up in New Jersey, <laughs> think about life. You look up at the stars at night and you're like, Maybe I could be a rock star one day, but it just seems so unapproachable, so unattainable with gold. <laughs> you get together some of your closest friends and you play, but not for money, just for the love of it. And then you realize. And then one day you look at the mirror after a 40 year career and you realize. I'm just an icon living. <laughs> I'm just an icon living. Living icon. Yo, bro, honestly, dude, I saw the boss do a three hour version of Icon Living. It was mad ill. <laughs> Not a man. 
I'm not a menace. Dude, I mean, that's... I it's think wild. You can lie like a professor. I don't got the time to put you on the stretcher. I'm here and I'm still flexing. Just a knock on living. <laughs> I mean, this is... Jaden Smith is ghostwritten by Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> Last verse was before the award show. I contacted it on my torso. <laughs> Me and wine dipping in the Porsche. So what? So what? <laughs> Last girl signed the divorce. So what? <laughs> That's fucking great. Gold grills and you dance like Michael. No, I misfits. There's no typos. <laughs> Put a hundred thousand dollars in the Bible. Woo. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Last verse was before the award show. Your, what? Your shit is fire. I'm more. So what? Young Jaden dying on the floor, so what? <laughs> she broke my heart through the core, so what? I guess it's just time that we all grow up. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> I'm just an icon living. Ah, oh, dude, this is great. Right. I am just an icon living. I am just an icon living. We have Tony Danza tap dancing. Oh, maybe blind, but the stars were aligned in my favor. What a dumb, confident guinea. <laughs> he really is. I've just met this guy before. Not Tony Danza, but that guy. Hey, I should make my own album, because I can croon like those other shitty Italian singers of the day. Booba da do at the pizzeria where my mom works. Going to get ICs under the moon. I got a temper, you'll find out soon. <laughs> That's shitty tap dancing, it's a hundred percent confidence. <laughs> oh my god, he's just walking around. Shubala dupe, here I go once again. I'm athletic and a talent. Every year I get a brand new Ford Escape. Dracar is a timeless smell. Why did it go away? Pictures of Jesus while I jerk <laughs> off. No, it's not a pepper, it's a horn. <laughs> Never got to really hit high notes. Yeah. If you start 12 octaves low. <laughs> Shubala boo, do we want? Why do you have to keep singing those old songs? What? What? Hey yo, away. Boom, boom, boom. Razzmatazz, dinner's not on the table. Okay. You love them all, all the <laughs> hits from Big J Okus and the smooth sounds of the boy from Philly. Draw me a bath before I bust your mouth wide open. That one's called Loving My Wife. Because your whore mother's living here for free. And the classic Family Ties. I should have married your sister instead of just fucking her. Ah, oh, the old single man's walk. All of Big J's. Where's the remote, you cunt? Living room love. They're all there on the double disc. If I could build a time machine, I'd go back in time and kick your father in the nuts so he never had you. This one's going out to you, Pops. And live cuts <laughs> like Daddy's Love. I'm ripping down your daughter's vag every day. Shredding it like Paschetti. <laughs> Even the X-rated hits are on there. <laughs> B-sides. The late night. The ones you can put on with your favorite gal. Bravo! Bravo! Shubi Lee. Wee! Bravo! 
we bring up the fact that they're they're trying to integrate robots and artificial intelligence just too comfortably now with commercials. When Common is doing a commercial, he's like, "Ain't nothing doper than artificial intelligence," and you're like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Dude, Seriously, that's how he starts the commercial. He's like, "Nothing doper than having robots monitor your ocular cavities." Uh, uh, and you're like, a "Common, can I?" Didn't you used to be common sense, like the rapper about Dude. how people like me fucked everything up? Yeah, the I'm earth, the gods in the earth. Yeah, and he's like, drain some natural resources. <laughs> this is it so right you here. can make some robots. This fucking, I. This is where smoking weed as a thirty-five-year-old, you hear a dog whistle that most people don't. Where you're like, whoa, 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 back that up. I remember Hold watching up, gods in the earth. I remember during the Super Bowl two years ago, there was a commercial that simply like. Um, are you having a hard time? Are you constipated because of your opioids? And you're like, what's up? What's up, guys? And they're like, are you, can you not shit because you're all whacked out on Oxycontin? And you're like, oh, cool. We're just normalizing. But that's what this is where it's like he's on a stage. Yeah, play it. Performing they, for no one. And they try to make robot it. Laughter. Robot laughter. Robot laughter. Dead silence. Today, right now, you have more power at your fingertips than entire generations that came before you. That's pretty dangerous. Think about that. That's what we can enslave really the white is. man, <laughs> turn everything up on its head. Yeah. Blood call. <laughs> Here. Uh, this is a longer version of it. The 30 second one, he just seriously starts out with being like, artificial intelligence is the shit. Buddy. Th but keep playing because he gets to it. It's possibility, it's adaptability, it's capability. Inspiring music. But in the end, it's only a tool. What's a hammer without a person who swings it? What if the hammer was a person? What if the hammer decided who lived and who died? And you're like, I don't like this at all. I don't Holy like this. shit. Common, are you saying... What if the hammer learned how to shoot a gun? <laughs> okay. All right. Do you, you want to talk about something, man? What if your family worked for the hammer? <laughs> I know, I know. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What is what this about? If, what <laughs> if... What, he's a Commons on the fritz. Yeah. He's been a robot the whole time. He was a robot! West World! Hit play. Knowledge he can do. It's about what you can do with it. You're the voice. Uh, this is a different and it's commercial. It's the microphone. When you yeah, yeah this, is, this is. A, they they might have done. done that. There's one where he's like artificial intelligence and it's showing cameras yeah. you know, mapping he's out. Spit, he's got to spit a few tracks. He hits that stage, man. I don't know if the audience or not. It's yeah. common, man. He's got to lay it down. Dude, they gods said, in the earth. They said the record robots. and they said roll with it. Yo, the gods in the earths in the sky net. What? Skynet. What was the last thing? How cool would it be? Skynet. How cool would it be if Skynet was our overlord? What fuck? Wait, uh, did they put that in Terminator for us to be comfortable with it by the time we grew up? Well, we're talking about being like stuff. Uh, Soder, do you like Bruce? Do you like the boss? Yeah, I like the boss just fine. Just fine. I'm not like a huge Springsteen guy. I fucking hate him. Really? <laughs> no, I just want to go big with Mike. <laughs> I, I brought up for the thing talking about the the fear of cops thing and and having none of it. Again, this is mostly traffic cops. He does this too, but Jimmy Justice. Oh God, this is hysterical. Who's Jimmy Justice? So come sit over here, Soder. Let's, Jim, let's move this. Jimmy thing. Justice is great. Jimmy Justice is, I'm going to say, a borderline lunatic who goes out there and he catches cops. Which, by the way, I wish I had the balls to do because I see this a lot, and I'm sure we all do. Cops just fucking up, just doing their thing. How many times a day? Do you see cops throw on their fucking cherries just to go through a red light? I like that you call it a cherries like you were in the force for 15 years. <laughs> I wasn't. I was in the back of that car so many times, though. He's the me president Kirk, of the Police, Police Benevolence Association. Me and Kirk and Metzger got arrested together before. We've, I've been like, I've spent, we spent a couple hours in jail to go. Yeah, it was a weird thing. Yeah, weird. Uncle Jailbird Joey over here. Yeah. Um, but this guy goes, wait, finds him do that. Like illegal U turns. Parking in front of a uh, parking in front of a hydrant while they go get food. Yeah, and he comes out and he's a he's a crazy. So his voice, you're gonna love. You're gonna you are gonna fall in love with. This. He comes out. He's amazing. He calls this one. Go to traffic cop makes illegal U turn. I'm not sure if it's her, but he calls one uh, big fat black lady cop a boob, and it's my favorite <laughs> thing ever. You're a boob. New York City vehicle and traffic law prohibits making U turns within a business district. And Jimmy Justice. Look at her. Hi. They get so mad at him, but there's nothing they can do. And he's, he's, he's screaming in their faces. He's so... He's my hero. And he's just waiting. Look at him like a cop. He's just waiting to pop him. Yeah. You made an illegal U-turn in a don't business district. Don't do that. 
You made an illegal don't U-turn in the business okay. district, you don't and I have it on video. Don't do that. What kind of example are you for the citizens of New York? You're a police officer. You're not supposed to make a U-turn within a business district. Can you get out of my face? Okay. You're not allowed to make a U-turn in a business district in the city of New York. You violated the law. We You're supposed to. Me. Come on, arrest me. I don't have the authority to arrest you, but I have the authority to videotape you, call 311, and file a report against you. Call him. I will. Call him. Because I have it all on video. Call him now. You're supposed to enforce the law, not violate the law. Can I just say, uh, this? I love this woman. And Do you? I think her confidence is amazing. She has white guy confidence? Oh, she does. She has like, <laughs> do you know who my dad is? Confidence? Really? I'm surprised you love her because the com she should have the confidence. She has a, a fucking gun and a badge. Yeah. But he doesn't and he's just, do they, he goes so much harder. Than watch, watch these. These are great. Okay. You're supposed to enforce the law, oh, not man. violate the law. Get out of my face. I'm going to get you a man. Ooh. What? Don't do it. I videoed you no, breaking the I law. Said, don't video me. You're the one who broke the law, don't not me. 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 Why are you mad at me? You want to call one nine one one? You want to call him? She you want to call him? Let me see your badge number, please. No. Yes. I can't want your do badge that. Number. Call, him. call him. I want your Why badge can't number. You, you made an illegal U turn in New York call City. Call call you're supposed to enforce the law, not violate the law. You want me to now you're going dropping your radio. You're a boob. You're a boob. Do you want to call them? I, have I will to call them. I want your badge number, and I, I will file a 311 report against you. Forgot something. Hello, you Step forgot something. Step yeah. out my face. Okay? Don't make illegal U-turns no. in New York Step City. Out my face. I asked you to step out my face. I asked you not to make illegal U-turns in New York City within a business district. I am Jimmy Justice, and your days of running around this city like a cowboy are over. <laughs> I mean, how do you not love this guy? Now I love him. I am Jimmy Justice. What you gonna do when Jimmy Justice comes for you? Can I just say my favorite guy is her co-worker that's standing there and he goes, What's up, babe? Did you hey, pick what, up lunch or what? He, what's he yelling at you for? <laughs> what's he getting mad at you for, girl? You need my help, bitch? <laughs> Send Jimmy Justice to Manitowoc County. Right. <laughs> then Steve Avery will be you free. Planted you planted blood in that RAV4. You're no. a boob. Uh, I'm not a, a boob. That's rude, yeah. Well, uh, we have the evidence and... Uh, this place is cold, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's, guy, there's, so, there's such great ones. He just you're parked in a bus stop. That's a no standing zone, sir. Sir. That's a no you're standing the, zone. Your camera down, okay? That's a no standing zone. Peaceful. Are you allowed to park in a no standing zone? Yes, I do. Why? Because I had an emergency. Where's the emergency? The truck is over there. I have to write someone for this truck. I Please. thought an emergency is when somebody's life is in danger. Uh, maybe your life is in danger. Oh. Ooh. Justice ever go after white cops, or is it? Yeah, always, yeah, absolutely. Does Jimmy Justice ever? Get one of them is. Uh, <laughs> one of them is. Uh, go back, go back, go back. Uh, one of them he gets really up at a guy for like putting. He puts like his cop thing to park somewhere to go in somewhere with his family. Like, really? He puts, like, his thing, uh, like, like, oh, like, like, like don't like, give me shit. Private vehicle. Oh, yeah, like like a, like a don't give me shit. Like right. a plaque you put in the car. Like a, like a handicap. By the way, I hate the thing. It's never worked for me. I've been, always been afraid to ever use it. I used to have one in my wallet, but I never even tried pulling it out. But the old uh, PBA card, yeah, you know, show that, and, and they'll let you go sometimes and stuff like that. Like, that makes me even more angry. What, what, like that you have? I had one of those. Yeah, but it makes me more angry that they, they go, it's like, pull over. You go, it's like, oh you, oh, you know a cop also? Well, the law doesn't apply to you anymore, then you're cool. It's Thursday night, it's only around 9 o'clock, and already the streets are pretty much teeming with smashed businessmen. We're going to chat to some of them now. Have you been drinking tonight, sir? Yeah! We're talking about, uh, outside, how hilarious drunk Japanese businessmen are. Well, I, I, I happened upon last night, just out front of my house, I got home from the airport late. Yeah. Went outside, smoked a cigarette, saw there's a, there's a Japanese place across the street from my house. Okay restaurant and you can see it was definitely they were trying to get rid of an unruly guy yeah. it's just some like i swear to you all older drunk uh, or all older asian dudes get drunk exactly like mr miyagi did this guy better have a dead wife and he better be falling asleep by the way we should find out jacob if i just nailed that drunken mr miyagi can i tell you this right sure now hold on it. You did. I think so. Yeah. Right? No, I no stood here and I was like, video. 
Sono Ramazio. Dai, Ugio. Mr. Miyagi, what are you doing? Ah, Daya san. Mr. Miyagi, you're drunk. You should get out of this robe. Miss Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi, you look cold. You look pretty okay. Anniversary. Oh, take off this robe, Mr. Miyagi. You're all bunched up. Missing my wife. Hey, let me put you to bed. Take off these tight. You ever had a you ever had a New Jersey hello? Let me show you a nice New Jersey. Is this where we got it? Yeah, yo. Oh, no, that's not the song. Jacob, I'm gonna put a lit cigarette out on you. <laughs> hey, hey, drink, drink. Yeah. You know what's hilarious about hilarious about every drunk Asian businessman is they have control of their limbs. Like, do you remember that game where you like press the bottom of a doll and it would just completely go away? Yes. Remember those? Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. Like every limb goes yeah. just dead. Hey, you let go. No control over any. The gravity doesn't work on an Asian Dude, drunk. When man. I was when I was a waiter, we had a table of ten uh, Japanese businessmen come in, and it was like a Mexican restaurant in Midtown, which they don't have Mexican food in Japan. So these guys were just going ape shit over everything. Oh, they're Doseki! Like, they're like taco platters and all this stuff, but they were getting... Taco platters. I'm sorry, I pronounced <laughs> it wrong. They were getting hammered and just going through just margarita after margarita. And then you just saw them slowly just start getting super energetic and be like... Ah, America! Ah! And by the end, they were just like fucking disturbing the entire restaurant. Yeah, this dude last night, you can see they were kicking him out, but he fucking hugged the guy 11 yes. times. And when he left, he left by himself, like clapping, just happy. Uh, now that's amazing. There's no, I'll never know the joy. That is inside of a drunken Asian man. <laughs> well, Japanese businessmen, I feel like they're so compressed. Oh. No, back it up. Whoa. Start right, right from the very beginning. Let me see if I can nail it in, yeah. the, in the character. It's like a B flat. It just sounds like you're drunk with Mr. Miyagi. It's just Jay and Miyagi hammered. Is this how we do this song? I know she's gone, but I don't think that's any reason to have a teenager come over to your house at this time of night. Just go to sleep at all. Daya-san, put me to bed. Miyagi, it's me. It's me, Big Jay. Listen, now. Step out of it, dude. I enjoy you teaching me the wax on, wax off technique. You're wearing your scrubs again, home. Take off of my very itchy khaki pants. Big Jay. Big Jay. Hey, what? Daniel said, watch me show him do a happy One dance. Time. Happy dance. Back and forth. Oh, look at my little old man belly. Ah, uh, like a Buddha. I send us so many oh. dick pics tonight. Daniel said, tummy kiss. Daniel said, tummy kiss. <laughs> oh, right on the berry. <laughs> kiss my berry, man. <laughs> oh. Kiss my berry. What kind of art is this? Is this a block? Is this, uh, no. is this a headbutt? Are you teaching me a headbutt? Yeah, he goes, show me sand the floor. Show me Ali! Kiss the belly! Ali, show me kiss a berry button! <laughs> I, you didn't show me that. He goes, I'll show you now. You're doing yourself. I just needed a couple in me. You show me. <laughs> like, um, you have video of drunk Japanese men falling down escalators? This guy Perfect. is hilarious. <laughs> he just doesn't give up. Look at his limbs. He's got, he's got button limbs. <laughs> Uh, he's going, by the way, uh, we're going to post the video on at, uh, uh, at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter, Instagram, and he's Snapchat. He's trying to walk down the up. Yeah, he's walking down the opposite way, and he's just, these people are walking by him, he's still not giving up. He's still not giving oh, up. All the most of home. Head, in his head right now, he's like, you say, I don't really feel what I want to. Because he just killed it at karaoke. You say, yeah. I rock so all the time. You go in the wrong of fucking way. <laughs> Where is this? I can do anything with some money. He's up there. Guys, let me walk down the stairs. Awesome oh, blogger chick with red hair. He just turns around and hammer punches her clavicle. <laughs> she loses her half a sandwich. These are a speck affair. I do like a good busybody, though. Jams her face. Yeah, not me. I watched that guy hug that guy last night. Pure spectator. Didn't want to help. Yeah, you like oh, to walk. You like to walk. Yeah, look Casey. at her. She just won't leave it alone. Do you like to? Yeah. Sir, you're going the busybody. Yeah, leave she Leave him is. be. Laugh at him like everybody else for 20 minutes. No, it's Grieve. not funny. He's drunk. He's going to get hurt. He's Grieve. making you run. I'd say let us wait. You know I what? I lack one thing in my, about my character. 
I lack remorse or or guilty feelings or feel bad for drunks for someone who's fucking obliterated. And I would expect the same for me. I don't get it's like it's like don't draw a dick on his face. He's drunk. If I'm drunk enough, where I'm like, what's happening in the world? Then fucking fuck me. Then he could, he could I be will. training for a Japanese I, game show. For you all can anybody stop, knows, you can stop yourself from getting that drunk. You can make yourself not be that drunk. Where you're like, I, like I'm, I'm passing out on a train. You could make yourself sure you're not that drunk. Wow. I don't feel any. I feel no. You have a drink. Where someone like, goes, don't keep laughing no. at him and taking videos. He's drunk. I'm like, good. Yeah, but you so you can't control it. If you do get drunk, please just learn the Mr. Miyagi song. Yeah, I, uh, yeah Either my point being, I would not be giving yeah. this guy any advice. I'm with you a million percent. I would tell him to run. I like that he just grabs him. He's like. I, Turn around! I had a pretty hilarious uh, sober mishap last night. By the way, every other Asian video that comes up, I suggest is like them doing amazing feats of talent, like standing on like three, two <laughs> yeah, walls. Guy's one guy's split. Like, the Matrix is based on him. Yeah, one guy just, it's a backflip of him running up a tree. You gotta comb the internet for one person because they run the internet. They, they live, live it. They live in the man. circuits. <laughs> <laughs> They're made of circuits. <laughs> uh, nah, Great, now that's gonna be... Good job. Oh, wow. Da, da. This is just a kid holding onto an escalator. That's actually pretty incredible. That is pretty incredible. Yeah, everything else is them being amazing. All right, this kid's just... Oh. Oh! oh! I hope you broke your ankle. Dude, this, this is perfect. I Can you please look up the... How do you say his name? David Weta? David Guetta? David Guetta. G-U-E-T-T-A. Look up his Martin Luther King um, Black Lives Song. Matter. Dude, it is... I used to joke with girls at bars that I was a DJ named DJ Watergate, and I just put Nixon speeches to how. <laughs> but this guy, David Guerra, Guerra, whatever the fuck, however you want to say it, I know I'm not saying it right. Oh, no, it's probably fresh. Guerra, David Guerra. He does a. It's I swear to God, it's him on a rooftop, and he's playing it, and then he's like, he goes, "This goes for George Floyd and his family. We, I wish you, you, you must hear it. Is it? Is it the video?" Yeah, it's probably yeah, the beginning, dude. And then you, it's this like you're like, dude. I don't think you get what you're doing. Get your knee off my neck. <laughs> I can't, can't, can't breathe. Oh, these people are caring about George Floyd. That's pretty cool. Go forward. He talks. Yes, I like George Floyd. I like George Floyd. He's so great. Yeah, yeah. Wait, he dead? Oh, muerte? Oh no. Dude, it. DJing for Zoom it is, is right so lame. And I, we all go through a lot of things. Five people. United and who actually? <laughs> so, so fucking, last so night, weird. I knew we were going to do this. And I made a special record. So this record is in honor of George Floyd. And I really hope we can see more you. unity and more peace oh, God. when already things are so difficult. <laughs> Jesus, here it comes. He had a criminal history. <laughs> here it is. You're like, all right, you need a song. Cool. <laughs> it is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream. <laughs> this nation will rise up. <laughs> Look at the people dancing. Sorry. Oh my god, police brutality sucks. <laughs> he goes, I understand two things. Equality is possible, and David drops that fucking beat. <laughs> I promise you, George, uh, George, uh, George Floyd, uh, Martin Luther King, never had like a. He goes, man. He goes, now nah, I'm gonna put out the lyrics, and y'all produce it. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't know I was gonna get remixed into such a jam. One day, one day, one day, one day, one day. Black kids, black kids, black kids, black kids, white kids, black kids, black kids, white kids, black kids, white kids, black kids, white kids, black kids, white kids. Even the way it's edited, he's like, he goes, I have a dream that the beat will drop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. They can't. Dude, I, have was, I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I have a dream. I saw that. I saw that, and I was like, I was. I forgot where I saw it, and I was just like, where? Where is this from? This has to be a parody. And I didn't know it was David Huera, but he was like, a lot of things are going on here and at home, and I just want to say, 
this is for we still need to arrest the murderers of Brianna Taylor and this song goes out to her and it's like just the most offensive <laughs> shit where he's like it's Malcolm X where he's like the white devil white 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 devil defund goes, the police defund the police <laughs> <laughs> bad boys bad boys oh, what you gonna do here's a mix this and the next uh, DJ comes out he goes guys actually this is gonna be a little weird I didn't know there was a theme here tonight and uh, <laughs> My dad's a cop, so mine goes in a little bit of a different direction. He goes, this is for the, he goes, my it's a difficult head. job. It's a, goes, acknowledge at least that it's a difficult job. He goes, this is, uh, this is, I swear to God, this is not a response. This is just how it's going. But um, my dad has been a police officer for 35 years. And it's his birthday, so I dedicated to him. This set's called the Blue Lives Matter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to play the song. I made it. I made the song. Thin, 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 thin. Blue, 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 this guy's a great coach uh, this I guy's mean, really coaching the hell out of her but I mean, what is clearly he, explain the assignment if it's if fucking, he, you don't you don't go why would you blitz like that you don't know your package you don't know what play you're running megan get is it he a pedophile, together is, is he a pedophile or something why does he have this passion he, it seems like he's been demoted uh, to this no i'll tell you why is because he finally gets to yell at all the girls that told him he was weird Oh, that's right. He goes, yeah. if Coach smells funny. Do I? Well, take a lap, you dumb bitch. <laughs> I always got yelled at by my coaches who, the worst, that didn't like me. If they didn't yeah. like me, they just fucking scream at you. And then they, the ones that do like you and yell at you, it's a different scream. This is like, gotcha. you fucking dumb fucking bitch. I hate you. Wah, wah, wah. He's going full kissing on things, them. Things that have nothing to do with <laughs> Oh, do you think my ex wife's a slut? Why don't we call her? Oh, wow. <laughs> How about things that have nothing to do with anything you're yelling about, too? Yeah. My whore wife walks out after 40 years. Oh, I missed that tackle. Sam Kinison uh -oh. didn't die. He became the D coordinator of the mist. <laughs> <laughs> ah! He comes back at her worse. Oh, really? I thought he was going to coach her up. Well, fucking watch her. That's your only responsibility. Take it off. Get out there. God damn it. All right. Now here she's on the outside. All right. Gets dusted. Get her out! I don't want her in there. Son of a bitch! She's keeping them in this game. No more. She's fucking done. You're only listening to me, Megan. It's fourth and fucking twelve. What do you think they're gonna do? Run the goddamn ball. You've got to get deep. Fucking a. Fucking sick. You cost us two. Dead. He is wild up about. Oh, well, Jay, if you fucking run football, it, dude. Jay, if you run it, TNA football still football. You gotta get back on coverage. What is this dude, bitch doing? Oh, if I was a missed, if I was a missed fan, I'd be like, why did we pick up Megan's contract? Send her back to the Twin <laughs> Peaks restaurant that you got her from. And we'll fucking move forward. He goes, he goes, yeah, I'll send your ass right back to the tilted kilt I found you. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I want to know wh who scouted this slut at a Hooters and thought <laughs> she was a lockdown corner because I have seen no evidence of it. Dude, his, his sense, he goes, it's fourth and 12. They're going for it. What do you think they're going to do? Run? Go play deep. <laughs> He's just so frustrated with it. Uh, so what, is. She goes, what do you even mean? What's funny is that I'm telling you the reason he's yelling so hard is that's the only time a guy can yell at a hot girl without any restrictions, and she just has to take it. If they were even kind of dating, if she had given him an over-the-top, over-the-pants hand job, she could have just been like, don't yell at me. 
You're yelling at me right now. Inclusion training and diversity training for healthcare. I mean, we do recruiting and selection. Increasing cultural competencies to drive business results. What that means is we make it feel a little less uncomfortable to work with a Mexican. Hi, I'm Brett, and this is my partner, Dave. And we're here to teach you about inclusion. Unconscious bias training. Now, you're going to want to ask some of your Asian coworkers if they wouldn't mind teaching your children karate. Now, don't. There's different divisions of karate. It's just ignorant racism on top of it. <laughs> you don't know what style they could because teach. You do not want to ask a Japanese man to teach you uh, taekwondo, which is Korean. That is the Korean art. It, he goes, Japanese, you're going ninjutsu that's <laughs> say it with me now Nin ninjutsu <laughs> lose writing it down ninjutsu. ninjutsu got it inclusion and diversity training for all employees the can we talk series can you please click on the can we talk series this is a real thing Just by the way know, i'm starting to read white women will be complaining if you've ever been in a swamp with an alligator that's the energy that any white woman will take to you <laughs> in a break room that's their swamp. <laughs> the break won't the break room are white women swamps and they will fucking bite into you in death roll. They, Sorry, Brett's going through a divorce. <laughs> that bitch, the elephant we can't see. Let's play this video. There's an invisible elephant? Oh, dude, look at that smart sweater on that black guy. Hell yes. That guy's never Oh, a judge? A lady judge? No, that's just I a, am the law. That's not a judge, I don't think. Oh, she's just got I a think fucking. She just has an old lady outfit on. Well, I'm sorry. You know what? That wasn't very. You inclusive think they're all judges? Let's try to watch this with a woke eye. I don't, I don't know if we should be watching this. This is kind of a. Uh... Jacob, what's the ruling? It's on the website. It's on a website. Yeah. This isn't like the, it's on this YouTube. Isn't the Sirius XM internal thing. This yeah. is just a oh, okay. company that does inclusion training. Oh, Blue, I, can I tell you right now that Jacob's energy right now is dad trying to fix stuff while a birthday party is happening. <laughs> like we're all, hands in his pockets. We're all running around, but he's he's like on the phone. Where he goes, yeah, no, no. Shh. Shh. Restarted it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Are we on air? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Christine. He's not saying anything. I know, hold on, but what he does. Okay. Yeah. What? <laughs> 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 just, uh, everyone getting silent. Jacob just, Jacob just did the... Why? <laughs> but, but by the way, he had the phone with his, his finger in it, and he took his finger out of his ear and moved the receiver away from his face and went, what? <laughs> yeah, hey, Mr. Germs, what are you going to do with that ear after you just got done? You're touching your brain in there, dude. You hit the spongy gray matter. <laughs> it's going to change your personality, dude. Yeah, dude. You got an earworm now. You're second knuckles in there. You're lucky Kong ain't coming after you. Sure, oh, sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. Whatever makes you sleep at night. Yeah, let me, oh, yeah, look, this is me taking my thumb off. Oh, <laughs> hey, look. oh, no, look, Jacob. I got my nose. Jacob, look. Oh, no. oh my nose. My nose is in my finger. Oh, I got to put it back on my face. All right, All right go ahead. Let's see specifically right here what, let's see what, what DJ Lou's going to have to deal with. Yeah, let's, and let's see how ignorant Jay and I are. Hang up. Pretty, pretty good. Can We Talk is our special series of conversations that provide opportunities to strengthen teams and build inclusion. The that chick's pretty that fuckable for her age. Well, and toss her back for being so, uh, so old. Dude, her reading this, we'll tweet it out at the Bonfire SXM on Twitter. Uh, but she's a very, a, a lot of bad hand job because a lot of jewelry on the fingers, I feel Oh, like. you feel it's a fucking ring. And it's going to be old, like brassy rings that are going to really yeah, catch, really get your pubes. I think what's going to make you really stand at attention is seeing the strong forearms she's got. That's going to be very veiny. Life. Yeah, it's going to be very veiny. Vascular. And just, just staring at opal rings. Yeah, a lot of turquoise in this hand. A cameo, job. maybe. Yeah. Conversations that uses storytelling, followed by interactive, engaging, and skill building training. Wait a second, this chick's not going to tell stories, is she? I don't know, but she's looking at the camera. She's reading the cue cards, but it makes her look blind. <laughs> like with the angle she's looking at, where she's like, I don't see color. I don't see anything. I was hit by a baseball in the temple when I was seven years old. <laughs> I can't see. It was lights out for Linda. <laughs> what do you remember? He goes, 
The sky is blue, but what is blue? What is blue? Uh, oh, I've never met an Asian or never seen what they actually look like. Have you ever tried to describe blue to somebody? <laughs> Do you know what it's like to meet a Mongolian by rubbing their face? <laughs> they never like the guess, even if I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> if they get mad if, they, if you can see them. Imagine when you can't see them. All right, go back. What's this, what's this uh, dipshit say? <laughs> what's this, what's this thing about? What, are they filming this in a fucking stairwell? Why is the sound <laughs> shit? <laughs> value like it's really the way the letters come in is really fancy. So I see Jolly Cat videos of better production. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking, what is she trying to throw together a fucking sketch she wrote on the weekend? Jesus, have some care. Get a sound guy. I'm a Jolly Jolly Cat. <laughs> I'm a Jolly. <laughs> All right. What is the elephant we can't see? I think it's something that's fairly apparent. Is this guy's toupee? <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact that fucking this dude's definitely bald. <laughs> What's uh, the elephant in the room? The plugs? Yeah, is it your unnatural hairline? Do you have to include people who have plugs and wigs? No. no. Oh. Ew, no. no. I can't go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't go. Dude, that's the ultimate test of inclusiveness. I'm getting, I'm getting kicked out. Wig men. <laughs> I can't take a wig guy. Come on. Fuck, that's my one thing I won't include. Maury's wigs. Hurricane wins. Is it Morty's or Maury's? Maury. Maury, yeah, when he jumps reverse in the pool. Maury's wigs are tested against. Maury's wig. All right, keep going with this fucking guy. This is clearly a wig, right? Yes, it's something pretty obvious that's being ignored. It's like everybody knows his thing. <laughs> I say, you gremlin. <laughs> you <laughs> don't feed after me. <laughs> it looks like a gremlin in a wig. <laughs> Are you not allowed to say that? <laughs> Is that not inclusive? You don't get wet. You don't go. <laughs> The lion man walks along the jungle <laughs> Drink this magical horchata <laughs> It will bring you to I don't know if you should put that on Insta story That's yeah, gonna should. be, a, yeah, that's a hit play Think about it <laughs> Please go back <laughs> Jesus. Who is that? Is that Macho Camacho? <laughs> the jungle eat the man it's like the one, she's the woman that warns you about Predator. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, they come every year. The, the, the jungle come alive. You <laughs> don't. <laughs> he goes, you don't believe. He goes, he you goes, see for uh, yourself. <laughs> I could see it out there, Billy. I just take my shirt off and start cutting my chest. Because we don't want to acknowledge that it exists. We just don't know how. What? What What's the elephant? The... Yeah. It gets bigger. What happens? On the job, it can negatively impact productivity. Wait, go back, go back a bunch. And now just assume when they're talking about the, which is talking about the elephant, is yeah. we keep going, it's the, it's the, <laughs> the bro make it dick. Okay. Make it, wait, but can you also make it sound like they're talking about one specific guy's dick? Yeah. Like, like Hank's dick. Yeah, like Hank. Hank after, from accounting. This is the week after the pool party, and everyone's like, dude, Hank has a, his suit clung to it? Yeah, dude. It scared right, my kid. Now play, watch. Right, right from, from after her. Yeah, after, after Judge Judy. What's the elephant we can't see? I think it's something that's fairly apparent, but it isn't being addressed. Yes, it's something pretty obvious that's being ignored. <laughs> it's like everybody knows it's there, but doesn't say anything about it. <laughs> dick? Yeah. What we don't address about the dick. Because we don't want to acknowledge that it exists. <laughs> we just don't know how. What happens when we don't address the dick? It gets bigger. <laughs> oh, no. On the job, it can negatively impact productivity and cooperation. Yeah, big old dick walking around? Actor, author Michael Fosberg begins the workshop by telling his own story about a difference that made a difference. Wait, go back. It's a... By the way, why choose that picture of all things? Yeah, the crazy fucking totalitarian it's picture. Like, I'm living out loud. And that looks like she goes, he, this is cult leader. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm Adams, he has, he's responsible for over 15 deaths in the San Fernando Valley. Mass suicides. Lou's been ducking this, Lou's been ducking this for years. I All right, whoa, Jacob, when did the, you uh, get? I was down back in the 90s. Training. 
The training? He's been able to get out of it for years. Lose? That's what I like about Louis. on trades, man. <laughs> he just did, fucking did feral. He did a smart thing. He just never responded to the emails. Because I'm not <laughs> racist. Hell yeah. Jacob goes, if I don't respond to this, am I racist? Am but I racist? Finally, they called him. A little sexist, though. A little sexist. I turned myself in. They didn't catch me. I'm not going to let some dingbat tell me who I have to include. He goes, when I see a mister at the bottom of that email, I shall respond. <laughs> 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 he goes, a Ms. or a Mrs., take it up with uh, your, your gentleman co worker. <laughs> Oh, shit, like, hello. Begins the workshop by telling his own story about a difference that made a difference. It's as if I were a large jigsaw puzzle. Oh, if, no. if, you get One. To, if you get to see this guy tomorrow, that's awesome. Wait, go back, start that sentence again. It, It's as if I were a large jigsaw puzzle. It's as Wait, if pause I, it. And, and, pause it. Well, we could play, you know, like Howard Stern, they cut up the audio books and stuff to make things. Mm -hmm. If you just stop after they're uh, in the middle of the word jigsaw, it's such a racist thing he just said. <laughs> <laughs> Go back, start it over again. Made a difference. It's as if I were a large jigsaw puzzle. Oh. And then he just goes, now how do you handle that, whites? Go, Whoa. <laughs> oh. Whoa, sassy theater teacher. I don't need to hear this. Oh, no. no. And, and there was this one piece missing. I don't even know if it's a significant piece or not, but I know I need to find it to complete the picture. I'm going to try to find him. What? Why do you want to do that? You have a father, John Fosberg. He is your father. He did raise you. Dude, you is this guy I, doing theater? Oh, yeah. uh, dude, do you have to watch fat? theater, Lou. Dude, you have to this watch guy. You have to watch a one-man show for diversity training. Oh, this is hilarious. God. This is better. This is better than anything that they could write. Yeah. They make you watch a guy go. Huh. Growing up in Pittsburgh in 1968 wasn't as easy as it looks on paper. <laughs> I was the son of you. Yeah. Benny, he goes, time to come in for dinner. Goes, that's that's that was my dad. That's my dad. I better run. If I didn't run fast enough, I'd pay for it. <laughs> Follow me. I grew up in every neighborhood. Lou's going, I just want a Marlboro. I don't want to sit here. I just want to. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Can I disguise a smoke break as a bathroom break? Oh, I'm taking a smoke break. I hope he asked you some personal questions. Who's who's gone to the bathroom in front of their parents? Number two, <laughs> because they made them for their allowance. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa. Lou, there's no smoke break. It's two hours of you interacting. Like they put you, you in groups and they give you a a story. You can always you find to, a way. Lou, you walk out, break. goes. She goes. I'm sorry, there's no break story. This you go. <laughs> Let a woman tell me I can't take a break. <laughs> okay, all right. For men, for men hey, I'll do that. Goes, oh, you know what? Maybe I'll start doing CrossFit too today. Maybe go. I'll change everything. You have to work. Who's your God? Choose what? <laughs> Who is your God? Choose your destroyer. <laughs> I'll fake an asthma attack. Oh, that's fucking great. And then a click. Hello, son. <laughs> There's a couple of things you should know. I'm sure your mother's never told you. Oh my God! It's a pretty racist Jewish accent. Well, like what? Well, but you know, we were in World War Two. <laughs> we escaped Poland on a boat. <laughs> What's his reveal? The waters were rocky. What's his reveal? You gotta come. Then you gotta buy a ticket. Oh, dude, a little move over. I'm coming with you. <laughs> you gotta buy a ticket now. Who's this dude? guy? Who's this fucking this? Who's the guy at the end? Mm. It ain't over yet. Hang on. He looks like a you're computer going, salesman. You're running away from all these things. Who's this computer salesman at the end? That's a good laptop you're looking at. Check it to him. Yeah. Who's this inner city music teacher? <laughs> he goes. I have the kids. So there's off. this big pink elephant in the room. We're not talking about the elephant, but it's getting in our way sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. But the elephant is in the room. Dick? So, hey, let's talk. Okay. Wait, go back a little bit, please. I want to hear the things she says. Can we? I'd rather watch that John Panette clip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we watch John Panette? <laughs> so, so she goes. Workshop participant then has the opportunity to think about their training. own stories. What helped to create them? How to share them? What the fuck is the microphone she's wearing? Is it two cans and a string? Other experiences. Yeah. For individual, team, and organization. She's like a fucking broke rapper doing it she's in the bathroom. Everything. In the shower stall.
Hard out here for a pal. <laughs> That's it, Linda. That's your voice. She goes, Diversity training. And you're gonna, you're gonna love me. <laughs> elephant We Can't See workshop. The elephant can help we attendees can't see. find common ground and remove judgment. Oh my God, that dude. Can hinder or Are they going to make you talk to a black person and find common ground? You better have the that those outside Teaneck, New Jersey things in the chamber, man. I'm just here to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would, lead, here to fuck. I would lead with that. <laughs>